Sorry about that, TJ. Hey, everybody, welcome to another episode of Friday Night Bricks. This is episode 155, closing in on the three-year mark, which will happen next week. Uh, I am My head has not been feeling great all day, so I can't guarantee how late we will go tonight, but just be aware of that if people tune in, that it might not go as late as we normally go. How is TJ tonight? I'm, I'm doing okay. A little uh -oh. tired. Yeah, I'm been getting much sleep the past few days. Okay, I can't hear yeah, anything. Something's wrong with me. Uh, okay, that is Max. My audio not working? Or is it working? Okay, that's part of the problem there. Okay. How about now? Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I think I, well, I stream, I think I was streaming with, uh, or doing streaming out the other night with uh, Brett. So I only used the one camera. So I think everything was messed up. So, hey, Triple D, honey. So um, I guess I'll do a recap of the mall show last week. Went pretty good. Um, I picked up Chop. We got up there, you know, I think we got there like half an hour after setup. I uh, got everything set up. was setting up well into when the mall was open, wore my mask the whole time. Um, I mean, the bigger thing is, I mean, so it went good. It was good. There was some good stuff. I mean, actually, I need to probably pull out the, uh, the SD card on my phone or my camera here and show off some stuff. Lately, I've been battling with this this Lego Ideas project. Oh, my Lord. All I can say is if if they don't take if they don't take my uh, any of my last my last mocks, I mean I definitely will be unsubscribing to everything Lego Ideas. I mean they, they all they do is they send you a thing saying, well, it could be this, could be this, could be this, or could be this, and I'm like, you know, Ideas have been around for ten years, I believe, ten years. I'm hoping all the IT people that were there didn't get in, weren't purged in 2017 when Lego did their great purge, but. Uh, in the end, it's kind of those things where it's like, you know, you can't like, you know, there's no way to like circle one of them. I mean, if I was a kid, my parents would be sending emails like what Lego got for when they were going to cancel Ninjago. It's like, I mean, you can't pinpoint it. You're going to say it's either blurry, it's too light, it's too dark, background clutter. I mean, you know, I mean, everything I thought was good. I mean, the last couple pictures I took with my phone, I used the flash, but I have two, I had two lights with 800 lumens behind me. You know, I mean, I have a white background. I mean, ugh. you know, I mean, in the end, I'm chopping everything down because a lot of it just I can't get it to can't get to center properly. So, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I think I've got about a 90 percent certainty that the only way you'll see a part of Hope Castle or Hope Castle is making the trek to Brickworld Chicago because, I mean, they've, they've rejected it two or three times. They might reject it just to reject it now at this point, which, you know you know, would be interesting at this point. So, but just makes me laugh a little bit, you know, makes me laugh, makes me laugh. So let's see here. Oh, wow. Is it going to be, Hold on. and see, I, I've taken just hundreds of pictures with my camera for this crazy freaking contest. I mean, literally hundreds of pictures. I took another probably 30 or 40 today. And I'm just like, really? I mean, this is, I mean, this is absurd. I mean, you know, and it's, everything's behind a white background. The only difference is there might be like some white boxes in the background there because my, I hung the, the sheet high enough, but it wasn't high enough, I guess. But yeah, I mean, literally, oh my God. Yeah. Like at least, two or 300 pictures easily. So, uh, let's see here. Um, you see, I don't have a lot of pictures from the show. I got a few. I'm hoping I recruited a couple people for the, um, hope I recruited a few people for the collab as I'm hoping to hoping. So, Hey, there's doc. Oh, doc. So let's see here. Um, need to open that folder. 
So I'm just moving some stuff here real quick from me, and hopefully that won't mess with the... We'll find out. We'll find out if it messes with anything. I guess I should have done it pre-show, but they opened up some appointments for uh, the vi vaccine, so I was rescheduling that. And, of course, the address I had, they had on file, I can't remember. I don't remember the last time I had Dean, but obviously it's been good almost 20 some years i'm like that address really well, that doesn't make any sense let me see if i can find this video because i actually i had <laughs> i had to have uh mr wagner go over this like twice because uh actually the third time because actually the the time before i said oh by the way i didn't have that recording he's like what i said yeah i didn't have a recording so let's see here let me see if this is it Uh, let's see here. Why am I not hearing anything? Oh my God, what is going on here? Yeah, you guys are still there, right? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, Doc dropped out. I think his audio was acting up. I couldn't really hear him. See, and I can't hear my video for some reason either, which is quite interesting. Huh. Uh -huh. I only got two and a half weeks left now, roughly, until I go home, which is good. Two and a half weeks, huh? Yeah, I move out on the 12th of May. Hmm. Done with my finals on the tenth, but I gotta stick around to get my COVID vaccine. Uh, yeah. Come on, this is crazy. Hold on, Doc. Wait a second. I'm trying to Doc, Doc. Hello, Doc. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is going on. No, I mean with my dumb phone. Because <laughs> I'm trying to do this mobile, and <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like I don't know. That's the screen is. I only see part of the screen. I can't see the whole screen. Hmm. Yeah, see, this how's it going? <laughs> pretty good. There's something how's wrong. That? Something wrong with the audio for this yeah, video. My yeah. This is this is Wagner's, you know, sewer system type thing he built. I go, wow! Can you imagine everybody built mills like this? Look at this. He's got he's got his drainage pipes. And he's gonna pull another section here. He pulls another section. Oh, look at this! There we got our 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 sewer. I was like, man, you imagine that? I, can you imagine if Hoosier had to do that for every city block on his uh, on his city? <laughs> oh man. He's, he's two he's two bricks high. I mean, you imagine being like seven or eight, and then here you go. Here's the water, you know, your water mains. Ooh. I was like, I was like, dang. I mean, that's cool. just I mean, better with sound. I mean, we need Mr. Wagner on here so he can like next time I play it, he can like walk it through. But I mean, I don't know something happened. I mean, either my camera wasn't recording audio or something's wrong with the video. But yeah, I was like, look at that. That is insane. That's 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 pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's that's impressive. Crazy. I said, yeah, where's the rest of the city? He says, no, this is my whole city right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't do any, I can't do any more. So he had his elf tower and he had some stuff there. So yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool. There was some, there was some good stuff. I mean, obviously, oh, actually, let's see here. Is that, uh, let's see, actually, you know, actually, let's see here. We'll do this again. This is the, this is, this is one of the castles here. So this is the, this is the other castle. It's a big black castle, lots of skeletons, pretty cool stuff, you know. Uh, so, yep, so I was trying to zoom in. It looks like some knights were trying to take on some skeletons. Go figure. Um, you've got like a little, like a little witch type thing on the top there, that one. And then if you yeah. look, and then so I show back, then you get the big one. And then all those all those white patches are glow in the dark. So all those like moon cycles are all glow in the dark. So if he had a black light above it, I was looking at these shields, and actually I need to go find a couple of them. There was actually a, a bear shield I need to go hunt down. But uh, 
all those white moon phases and stuff were pretty cool. They're all glow in the dark. He just needs a big black light above this, and then it whirl the lights in the dark. It would look freaking awesome. Yeah, um, and maybe some neon orange flames and stuff. So it was pretty, it was pretty cool. That was uh that was one of the castles and stuff. So um, the guy behind us. So uh, pretty much we were all together. Chop was right there too. And then um, there were some castle guys. There was some, uh, or there was a medieval guy behind us that had a huge. Um, let's see. Let me actually. I'm gonna just kind of go to the pictures here. Okay, and the pictures are gonna open up on this screen, which I don't want. I want it on the other screen. Let's see. Here. Okay, so. So yeah, so I picked up Chop, and we went. We went to the show. Um, he didn't have as much stuff, so it fit pretty well. So there's the. Uh, there's our layout here. So he had his, and supposedly his castle has, uh, has had an accident or had an accident. You bully. Oh, it's up. Oh, he did shine a black on the castle. Yeah. I mean, he, I mean, I actually, he, I handed him my black light flashlight a couple times. He bought a flashlight, but he bought the wrong kind. So he's got to go to Harbor Freight and pick up the new one. So, um, so, you know, Chop had his here. He's got his Avon lady. This, I don't know if this is going to be a really good clear, but he's got his Avon lady running out of the, the house over here with the skeletons chasing. She picked the wrong house to go to. We've got the rainbow portal, which was a uh, an idea from Jefferson Hoffman of Wislug. Uh, hey, Bricksloth. He, oh, he showcased this at one of the Brickworld, Brickworld Chicago. I was like, oh, that's great. So, um it was pretty pretty awesome, so I figured use that. That would make a transition pretty good. I just need to make like a wall or something. So the barn was back here. We had lots of trees. I had the memorial tower in the back. I had the original Hope Castle, original Hope Keep in the back. Um, and the reason is is because I was trying to do a bottom for the uh, for the contest. And when I built the new bottom, it'll actually be the second set of walls. So we got some ice bears. Smaller setup. We got the laptop in the background because I did try and stream live the one day. And yes, Chop forgot his camera on the charger. Um, um, but we have Medieval in the background there. We have Castle, the Black Castles over here. And then to the right of us, we had, uh, there was actually uh, a Hoth base. Let's see, I'm going to figure out what I got here. So, so there's yet more trees, the igloos, um, the ice tars. We're riding out of the barn. We got troops, uh, the candy cane forest i did pull out the dino dude guys so these are the new dino dudes that were on the kickstarter uh so i mean these were kind of cool so i pulled them out so i showed those off those were kind of cool uh let's see here yeah at least it was fully charged yeah yeah it was fully charged um you know of course we've got me which might be my sig fig on the right and then of course my really you know attractive wife on the on my right side there or on the left there uh, let's see here there's another view of all the ice tars pouring out of the of the barn so you know all the beautiful ice tars you know because a centaur isn't cool enough by itself we need to mix it with an ice bear and we've got what's called an ice tar so you know hey so a bunch of them cut up a couple dragons a couple dragons just chilling uh let's see here um i'm hoping i got some other stuff here uh, there's Elsa and Anna, uh, my, my sister's Sig Fig. <laughs> Thanks, Chop. Okay, and then here's the medieval. So this is this one's pretty cool. So this guy had, he had a couple Viking ships. He had a uh, nice uh, wooden uh, base on the one edge, Viking base. Uh, he had a dragon here. Had eaten a lot of a lot of a lot of things there. We had some orcs. He had a little outpost. He had a little guard outpost for the town. Lots of lots of you know yellow on that market. Pretty cool. He did have two blacksmith shops. So <laughs> uh, well, you know, chop. What can I say? I'll have to add that to the things to quit, I guess. Um, so yeah, so this is another one. So let's see. We'll scroll in a little bit here. So he had a bunch of knights. So obviously it looks like it looks like if those are all the the you know the the those knights he maybe have ordered a bunch of extra parts you know when they were became available on bricks and pieces so yep so he's got his tower he had some 
get some centaurs over there. I thought I snuck a, I snuck some guys somewhere. I thought at one point, maybe I didn't, maybe I forgot to. Um, but yeah, his was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty, you know, it was pretty cool. I mean, I did like the, I did like the tower, the tower, the guard, the little, uh, guard tower here. Little post outpost guarding the town is pretty cool. I think he said he was going to try and build a bigger castle at some point. So make a much bigger layout. So he's got his nice Viking base. Pretty cool. Definitely cool. He had some nice roof thatching, um, you know, the walls and whatnot. So a couple of Viking boats uh, that there's a couple prisoners on there, you know, and of course they did have their, I don't know if I took a picture of their, of their, of their, of their gold. I hope I did. Let's see here. All right, some horses in the fencing. The village, the market village, looked pretty cool. So he had, you know, he had this. This is this is pretty sweet. I think he said he wanted to get a lot more villagers in there, but you know, he was working on his cobblestone road. I think at one point too. I mean, obviously, the larger the the larger your layout, the more time it takes to set up. So he was setting it up almost until the time we probably had to take it down. So lots of good stuff. Um, you know, the backside of the tower. Um, and then, yep. Yeah, and then, yeah, I think that's it. So I th actually, I didn't get a picture of the, of the, of the Hoth base, I guess. So, um, what's here? Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, I'm not sure it was one of those things where we did have some stuff. There were some other buildings on the other side, um, where Wagner was at. So, and then there was a vendor down on the end. So, Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So I mean, it was uh, it was a cool show. I mean, obviously, um, I don't know. Obviously, they're doing a lot more stuff out of this, out of the county I'm living in. So they have a amusement park. The amusement park show is planned for, I want to say July. Um, Brick World, Wisconsin is planned for October. Um, train fest is planned for November. So a lot of stuff I think is they're still trying to go through. So, um, I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. So it so says we got six people watching pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got some M&Ms to snack on tonight. That looks like, uh, also the initials of my, my favorite crush out in the world these days. Um, but yeah, so then that I brought the, I brought some of the, I brought the keep with me. So, I mean, I might do some. Might do some building. I need to build um, some more wall section. You know, uh, I mean, I need to build a couple more of these guys for the for the new castle because they'll slide they'll slide into the into the bottom level of the keep. Um, and then we, of course, we have. You know, I, I had to get some more plates. You know, somebody had asked me how many plates I got left. I got sixty thousand. Um, of the bags out in storage. Um, then I have a couple floating around here. Uh, uh, Jesse, Rad Brick Dad, is sitting on 4,000. He borrowed 4,000 for um, part of the collab we've been trying to work on for the last couple years, uh, provided we ever get a Brick World Chicago. So at, at some point we'll have that. So um, other than that, I mean, we the show hits three years next week. Uh, hopefully I'll have some stuff ready to go. We'll We'll see. I mean, obviously, I need to spend some time uh, maybe going through and finding some trivia and stuff. I've been trying to listen to episodes and stuff lately, but haven't really gotten as far as I'd hoped. So we'll see. You know, I don't know. I did find my the the bu the little uh, VW bus that uh, Willie was looking for. Found that. Um, you know, definitely have a bunch of stuff. I mean, I can dig through and. And so plus we're supposed to do that other uh, other online sale through Hoosier or Haley's channel that's coming up here at some point. My deadline to get a list of stuff to sell is May uh, April uh, May first May first. So I need to get that in. So we'll see we'll see what I'm selling. I don't know. I don't know what else I want to sell. So, um, but yeah, the last couple of days I've just been crafting a little bit. I haven't really been uh, doing a lot of building, other than trying to take pictures for that crazy contest. I mean, psh, unreal. I mean, unreal so i mean hopefully the ones with the flash for my camera will be enough but i mean even then i mean i'm cropping i'm taking pictures a, a ways out and then you know close up and you know i mean even then the pictures have to be cropped and then i lose a bunch so yeah i don't know i took a couple sideway pictures of the castle like lengthwise and i figured i could just flip the castle on side and say oh it fell over 
just throw it in there, you know, throw it in for voting. It's just the tower fell over, you know, so, but we'll see. So other than that, what's going on with you, TJ? Anything? Picking up any new sets or anything? Yeah, I picked up um, the last of the Epic Battle sets. Let me get Ooh. it off my shelf. Um, that's probably going to be the last thing I purchased while I'm here. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, obviously, I was gonna maybe go looking for the Looney Tunes today, but I don't know. My head's been just my head's been buzzing all day. I mean, I had a weird, wacky dream last night. And I'm thinking my I'm thinking that that other dimension that I was uh, booked into for the dream was bugging me all day about whether or not their spaceship was gonna actually fly or not. So, ooh, yeah. So here's Cole. Oh, I I like that. I like that translucent weapon he's holding. Yeah, each of the ninja has like a different color translucent weapon, and mm -hmm. it comes in all four shapes. So there's also a nunchuck swoosh and a sword swoosh and uh, mm. shurikens as well. And then there's there's a ghost. Mm. I, wonder, I wonder if the sword glows in the dark. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it does. Actually, what's funny is actually I did the other day. Uh, I was I came downstairs after dropping my stuff downstairs, and it was funny because I turned the lights out. And all my all my spiders were glowing. Oh, nice! Yeah, this is a nice well, little build. Well, I mean that the lanterns probably got the fluorescent green. That one might glow in the dark, kind of. And then there's also this little thing, and I think I know why the the ghost became a ghost because he ate some uh, food that was green. Ooh. Is that yeah. a green hot dog? Yeah, this is the second time I've gotten one of those too. I think. That's it's actually green, huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a uh, sand green. Um, so, yeah, he's got a bad. Uh, he got a bad hot dog there. I'm guessing. Yeah, the ghost must have eaten it, and now he's cursed to haunt this place forever. Mm. Yeah, That's and now happened. he has to fight Cole because Cole just showed up. Yeah, now he's got yeah the, that green hot dog is pretty bad. Yeah, no, I mean I had the uh, all my all my glow in the dark uh, spiders are in uh, in my animal bin, and I. I dropped it in the basement here the other day when I came down. And I look for what's that glowing in the bag? And I look and the whole thing is just glowing because it's been in the light, so it's pretty wild. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Then I still need to work on my tree and see if I can get this tree going up a little higher. I did I did find my I did find some of my white plates the other day because I thought I might have had like a. Uh, I was hoping I'd have the right size plates, but I don't think I. I'm thinking of the ones I was really hoping for. I have like a six by eight, but I was hoping I'd have like a six by six or an eight by eight. But yeah, well, the big place to have and not to have the right ones, terrible. Yeah. So I've completed my collection of the epic battle sets now, which is great. <laughs> and, uh, the next step is Bricklink orders. So I got to order some parts. Mm. So, uh, because I need a, I want to rebuild some of my space police sets. Oh, okay. And uh, but I know that many of the clips are bro broken, just mm. because I had already disassembled and rebuilt them about three or four times before. Oh, wow. Okay. And I also need some sticker sheets for them. Hmm. So that's going to be my next step: some bricklink orders. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I got to pay $15 for a sticker sheet because I decided to take some of the stickers off when I was younger. What, what set was that from? Space Police Central. Oh. Yeah. Most of the sticker sheets are fairly reasonably priced. Galactic Enforcer is like, I think, $4. That's yeah. What I'm looking at because there's a store that has all the sticker sheets I need except for one. Well, if you end up building... Anything radical where you need a nice sound like this, just let me know. <laughs> you know if you need the alarm going off, I picked up about picked up seven working klaxons, and I picked up and then I he had three other ones that I got too that supposedly don't maybe work, but I'll maybe I'll try the chest changing the batteries or something. So I had I had one at one time, and that might be the one that I have laying around here somewhere that I changed the batteries on, but sounds sicker than a dog. So I don't know if maybe the actual boards can actually die if you use them too much. I don't know. But uh so those I picked up. Those are cheap. Those are only a couple bucks. So and then of course he sent I picked up another of the big nine volt 162, 162 stud uh nine volt cables extensions 
because they were in the store and I was ordering stuff. There's two of them. There was that one and there was another one that had all the all the fraying, all the all the outer uh, stuff was coming off. So but I don't know where everybody's at tonight. Crazy, crazy. So um, I don't know. I don't know what I can build quickly. Problem is, I don't have a lot of building space. I mean, I guess I can. I mean, because I got my, I got my, I got my thing that I, uh, I disintegrated my, uh, one of my mills thing the other day is to try to play with. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long I'll last tonight. My head just, my head just keeps spinning. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did, but something. I heard something with that dream last night. I don't know, man. I was dreaming. I was dreaming. I was uh, helping out somebody with some interplanetary travel or something. They must have. Must have been an interdimensional dream, and they're mad that I well, I left them and couldn't finish it before I had to go get up and go to work. But man, cause my head is just oh, it's been just weird all day today. Yeah, I don't remember what I dreamed about last night, but the night before that, I do remember what I dreamed about. I remember I I went to a bookstore and I found a bunch of the old Lego books for Ooh. for sale, ones with like a uh, Green Lantern and. Other basically DC figs that I regret not getting back when they were available. Mm. And then I'm yeah, I woke up and I forgot about the dream, but then I remembered it about halfway through my day. I'm like, oh darn it. Yeah, it's been uh it's been a weird, weird, weird day. Yeah. So I think this is the way this wall goes. So I can retweet this real quick. I mean, I got my mold. Get my mold. Usually, usually when I have Lego dreams, it's either finding new stuff early or finding old stuff for sale. Hmm. See, and actually for this guy, I think too with building this one, I think I have to actually do. I'm trying to think for this guy when I build it up, that's why I have these guys. I think I actually need to do. No, what is this? Huh. Oh, I have this. So as I build up, I can actually put this down on here and actually make sure that it actually stays secure. So, but yeah, I don't know. Kind of not a lot of people here tonight. So I don't know what everybody's got going on tonight. They have to have something more fun than hanging out with us. Who knows? Who knows where they are? Well, you know, if they're a Jang follower, I think Jang was maybe on. I don't know. But I think he was on at one point. I don't know if he's still on. It's a, it might be. Oh, he is. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, that's okay. You know, this is this is this is the the night for the Wisconsin. You know. Wisconsin weekly talk Lego talk show. So you know, hey, you know, I did make uh, I did make some uh, things for the car, and I made some new cards. And the cards actually have a QR code on them, and so I've been putting those up in a few spots too to kind of see if I can uh, push some of the stuff. I think what I think what will really help is when we get back to conventions. Is I think that'll help uh, really push the you know you know push to get make sure more people if there's more people who want to watch that they're out there and they can find it and stuff you know so um but you know hey you know i've been doing it for three years you know you know you got you know you gotta do something um but yeah at some point i'll have to of course we're now into the weekend so i'm almost thinking this might be the last chance of getting that uh get yep the important people are here that's right that's right um at least the important people that are in Lego. Actually, what's funny is I'm a I'm a Hinkle Patreon, um, and so uh, he actually posted one of his his old stop motion video on his Patreon account, and I was like, yeah. And I, and that's the thing is that when he was still into Lego, I was hoping that he was going to do the the I think it's a prequel to that one or the sequel. He, he had he had he had another. One lined up. Okay, here we go. Here's here's Doc again. He's trying to make a comeback. <laughs> One more time. Can you hear mm -hmm. me now? We, yeah. can always, we can always hear you. Whether or not we wanted to hear you, that's always another story. But yeah. uh, all right, okay, just just double checking. Yeah. No, I didn't kick you out. No, no, I wasn't like you know like in Hoosier stream last night where they were just kind of 
wanting to time out people and you know whatnot. So <laughs> no, I, I kicked myself several times just because I was having tef clearly I was having technical difficulties. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I used yeah. to. I used to have those too. I used to have technical difficulties. I actually did have one earlier, but you know, we figured well, that one. This is a new phone, and it's. I'm just kind of like it should just. It should just work. Why do I have to pick things? It's like yeah. what is going on? And yeah, I was trying to listen to Hinkle. I was trying to listen to Hinkle stream this morning, and my Twitch just didn't want to work. So I was like, okay, guess I'm not listening to it. So. I even did the update and it still didn't want to work. So I was like, okay, I'll just listen to music. Oh, it was a crazy day today. So, how's, yeah, how's Doc tonight? Uh, okay, I got, I'm, I finished my military, because you know, a lot of people are doing a military Lego. So I found a military set and I was like, okay, let's make a review on it, you know. But after I, I put it all together and I've uploaded it, and then I went on London Bridge Bricks for like five minutes and chit chatted with them. And hype the video now. I now I want to take the video down and re-add some stuff to it, and then re-put it back up because I have it set to. Because I try to do one video a week, Saturday at nine o'clock. I have a video that comes out, you know, no matter what. I try to have that so that it's set already up. So now I'm going to take it down and try to re-re-edit it tonight, and then re-upload it before the morning. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it as it is. So if I don't get it re-edited with special effects, then you know I still have the video. So it'll be. I just wanted to like you know add you know <laughs> add some more oomph to it. Is this is this a, mm -hmm. a modern military vehicle here? We're 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 talking about here military set. Uh, no, no, it was. Uh, well, I guess well, sort of. I I don't know. It's 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 you know you'll see. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> okay. It's only like a you know it's like a four minute video, <laughs> you know. So I don't know. Tune in you tomorrow know. at at Doc Samson's channel to find out what the video is. You can see exactly. So yeah, <clears throat> most of it is a parody, the video before that because the military, like I said, it's a tiny little military set. It takes you know like three seconds to be like ta da, there it is. <laughs> you know mm. what more can I say? It's military. You know ta da, it's green. <laughs> well, you know, you could always say more. Hey, Corporal Corporal Body, welcome, Bodie, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I always yeah. My brain's not working today. Sorry, I apologize. I mean, I technically have uh, one of those green army men from the Toy Story, and I could, you know, put in flesh colored mm -hmm. face and have, and have him stand there and be all like, look, it's minifigure scale, because it is minifigure scale, and all so you know, there's that. It's mm. compatible with you know other brick systems as it likes to say you know oh so so is it but is so it's possibly not a lego one yes yeah, it's, it's not lego well just like the other guys that are doing their military sets they're doing kobe i guess is the it's an english mm. brand of knockoff yeah. bricks yeah i mean the builds are very nice but the minifigures are just horrendous <laughs> just, mm, just, yeah. Wow. I mean, well, you know, I don't like how Mega Construct, how they the pieces go together. I don't like that, but I really love the minifigures that Mega Constructs has just because they're so articulate. They're like little mini action figures. Yeah, I mean, well, that's the one thing that Lego, I think, right now is protecting with to tooth and nail is that that the minifigure copyright. Because I don't understand, I don't know what happened with the brick one. I don't know if it expired or whatnot and that's why that people were able to just keep making bricks but the minifig they're guarding pretty heavily so i mean that's kind of the one where you see them they'll really go after that especially if you're like uh if you're a, if, a, if you're a lug group or something and you've got a minifig in your in your uh logo we did den lug did we had to get rid of it you know it was one of those things like oh oh yeah we'll get rid of it we'll get rid of it sorry sorry my bad my bad didn't you know i mean you know so there's certain things they're going to guard pretty heavily. You just got to, you got to be prepared that, you know, that's, that's the thing. They want to make sure that they still can control um, some of their, some of their assets. So, but I just wish they, uh, wish their computer systems worked better and uh, their, their input uh, review input for like pictures and stuff was a little bit more precise. Cause I, I don't know if you heard earlier, I've been trying to, submit for that ideas contest what ideas contest oh uh, your your let your your it's your ideas in the idea house or your mocks uh, your oh, creation 
Yeah, okay. your creations. There's only a couple days left in it. I mean, you can submit for I think uh, your creations in the world famous Lego Lego Idea House. April 28th is the deadline for um, submitting. I mean, I have one thing out there right now. I mean, I have that. I have one of my my igloos out there, but the tower is a lot cooler, and the barn is is cooler too. I think, but I mean, the pictures they keep telling me the pictures are either too. I don't know. They're you know. Let me let me find the email because it's 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 awesome. It's awesome because it's like you know they're not gonna not gonna be precise. They're not gonna be precise and tell me what's wrong with it. They're gonna be your submissions be returned for revisions. Please make sure all your photos are crisp and clear, not too dark or too bright, not too grainy, not too blurry, clear of background clutter. We encourage plain neutral background. So I'm white background. I mean, my pictures, when I look at them on my phone, I mean, they, they look absolutely crystal clear. I mean, I, I mean, and clear doesn't focus real well. I mean, I don't know about anybody who's like, you know, whatever. So, um, hey, Brick Blaze, that's kind of the hey, kicker. Blaise. Clear does not take pictures very well now at the last batch i took i took with my i took with my with my with my phone with the flash on and of course did i get a picture with the flash of the whole tower no so but i don't think it'll I, they're they're asking me to crop them anyways so it's been pretty much it's been pretty much of a dud situation anyways with that anyways so um hasn't made me super happy with that because they'll you know they want you know they want it like a certain size and then and then I crop it and then I lose, you know, what I was planning anyways. So, so I joked with TJ. I says, I actually had, I, I should, I took a picture vertically. I should just turn it on its side and say, it fell over. It fell over, you know, but it fits in the frame. It fell over. <laughs> but I don't think those will be, those will probably have a problem because with the camera, I did change the, uh, on the camera, I changed something. I changed the, uh, what did I change? I changed one of the features. I'm hoping I was like hoping that would actually. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to do that. Um, I changed. Oh, I changed the sensitivity to 1600, whatever that means. So I was like, that did take the the picture a little bit of time to actually show up. So I don't know. So so blazes. He's at work, but he'll be lurking mostly. That's you know, yeah, that's you know, that's cool. Lurking's good. Lurking's good. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, not really doing much building. Obviously, like I said, I mean, there's plenty of shows in Northern Wisconsin coming up. Um, I don't have any historical Wisconsin buildings, so I probably will have to skip the sister Bay event in July. Cause I mean, I don't have, I mean, I could, I guess I could make an icy, an icy, uh, an icy lighthouse, I guess, but I don't know whether that would actually look cool or not is anybody's guess. So. Probably not. So. so I don't remember what made me think of this. Probably something about talking about Lego and control and how they don't have control. But uh, the Bad Bat shuttle got leaked this week. The yeah. what? The Bad Bat shuttle for Star Wars. Uh, I think got that new show. Clone thing. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that's great. No, I, mean, I, I, I was just really I'm, happy they're all going to have their own, you know, unique helmets. That's going to be cool. Yeah, they all have unique <laughs> printed designs, but I think yeah. most of them are just the Phase Two helmet or a helmet we've seen before. I don't think there's maybe for gonna... tech the uh, the smart one. There might be a new mold. But... Just like, are they going to give them hair pieces for? I think uh, I think they are. Because you know you got to have that guy with the red head headband, you know that leader dude, <laughs> you know. Well, I think. Like, I think I only. <laughs> I can point at him and go, "That's them." <laughs> the that's Hunter. Phone. But you know, I can't can yeah. tell you their name. But yeah, they all Hunter have and like. Tech, I think are the only two that would require hair pieces. There's a, there's a character named Hunter. Oh, Hunter was in that world Pretty famous sure. movie called The Megaforce. Oh well, crosshair also needs a hair piece. Yeah, yeah. And don't they have? But, um, all the faces are like they can't use the standard clone face because I mean they they look like them, but they look a little different because they like skinnier faces yeah. or fatter faces. You know, they're like they're they different. all have something different. Like um, Hunter's got kind of a a half face that's got some paint on it. Wrecker's got 
a missing eye or something. Crosshair's got a little target on his eye. Tex got the glasses, and Echo is just pale. Yeah. So, so they can't make that one guy just a little bit bigger than everybody else, too. You'd be like, he just yeah. A bit well, they gave him the um that newer Iron Man helmet. The one well, that doesn't like they, lift up. They gave him the, the longer Toy Story legs, too, and just been like, boom. <laughs> yeah, that would have been cool. Or if they had given him uh, a similar body to Axel. Yeah, you know, yeah. Exactly. That, that would have worked. I mean, he's not he's not that big. But yeah, that would have looked all cool. He's close enough to, to Minifig that I guess Lego was like, yeah, we can get away with it, and Lego fans will buy it anyway. Right, mm. exactly. Fans will like, buy it no matter what. It's Star Wars. They're gonna buy it no matter what if they like it. No matter. Well, I just hope that I just hope that in the new Bad Batch series that comes out, the shuttle goes flying by and it's got blue on it, so they can go. That's why it's got blue on it. Yeah, because the shuttle was in the Clone Wars. The new show, so you know. There's no excuse for it being inaccurate unless the design changes in the show. Yep. Or Which they steal happen. a new shuttle. Yeah, they could, the original shuttle gets blown up in the first episode, and, you know, they get a new one. So it's like, yeah, they, just, they don't wait like they did in Mandalorian. They blow it up in the first episode. Yeah, and then this way wow. they have their own iconic ship for this particular show. So anytime you see this ship, you know that it's from this series and not from something else. Especially yeah. if they're going to use the same art style, you know, for the characters and everything. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, they could, yeah. But it's pretty nice yeah. looking, so I'm like, I don't know why everybody was complaining other than you know the color. And then I mean, I it not looks be able too to... small, and I yeah, feel well, like uh, you know they gave too much to the speeder bike. I mean, I get why they made it look like the 501st one, but still. Yeah, well, that's just kind of like the the night buzzard or whatever. It's like nobody can fit in that. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's just you know, like. It's Lego knows it's yeah. it's all about the minifigs. That's all it's about. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's why they won't give us one on May the fourth because they're like, no, no, no. You buy this eighty dollars set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How much is the Bad Batch shuttle supposed to be? I don't. I think it's a hundred. Like hundred, yeah. It's going to be you know five figures. It's Star Wars. Five yeah. five minifigures in Star Wars is going to be at least a hundred dollars. Is now where has it been released? Is it has it been on brick set yet or? No, it was a leaked image. Oh, yeah. otherwise yeah, I'd show somebody, it. Somebody in the land leaked it early, and they weren't supposed to, because I guess it yeah. came with the same information as R two D two, and they. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, obviously they did say they did. It did look like they were going to give a new R two D two, another yeah. one. So yeah, look, yeah were, looking at the shuttle. Didn't Bricks O'Brien view it already? The R two D two. Yeah, he did. I saw it yeah. on this. Channel. It looks like Bricks said did too, maybe. Yeah, they did. I, mean, I, built, got the R2 I, built, I built the first one, so built that with a few uh, team, a few uh, coworkers at the Lego store. We built it at the bowling center, of course. So, so from the leaked image that I'm looking at, it looks like um, Hunter and Tex hair pieces are included, but not crosshair. Hmm. Interesting. One, one of them also, is bald. Well, two of them are bald. I mean, Echo's bald because he's got all the tech stuff when yeah. he was captured by the Separatists, and uh, Wrecker's bald. Yeah, just because he's cool. <laughs> yeah, and Wrecker, Wrecker does have an armor piece, which is what Corporal Glody said. So have they have they leaked what if they leaked if there's a, a a special GWP or whatever for May the Fourth, or are they not saying anything? No, else? that's been announced. That's um. What is that? Tattoo. It's like one of those micro build things. Diorama. It's a little diorama. Yeah. To see mm. Star Wars. Oh, maybe that's the one I just saw on Brickset. Maybe like a Tatooine yeah. or something, maybe. Yeah, the Tatooine homestead. Yeah. Uh, They're like a little sand crawler and a little dome building and a lot of tan bricks. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a tan it's a tan parts pack. That's what it is. Yeah. Ten uh -huh. parts so back with a couple of stars. I mean, they're doing so much. They're doing so much of that stuff now. I mean, you know, it's like you know. Yeah, it's like I think it's like eighty or eighty-five dollars to get the <laughs> promo, and it's it's not worth it. I guess you're gonna have to get two sets, Blaze. You have to get two of each set, and then you have to display them both ways. So, yeah. Well, they've only got hair for two people. 
I'm in hair for crosshair. So unless he gets a shave in the show, then. So I mean, yeah, those micro dioramas. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, so I mean, actually, I don't really buy much. On May the fourth. So I'll celebrate my birthday on May the fourth, but I'm not gonna buy any Lego on May the fourth. So I'll, be, I'll, turn just, up, I'll, I'll turn another year older. Unfortunately, I'm just done with Star Wars in general. So another another year older, and you know, hopefully another year wiser. You know. If I stop buying Lego, I am wiser. If I keep buying Lego, then I'm not. So, yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Doc, you building anything these days? Uh, building anything? No, I mean, you mean like a mock? I'm not yeah. a mock building guy. No, I'm a I'm a set building guy, and oh, <laughs> that's, that is so lame, Doc. We're gonna have to get you to build mocks. <laughs> I mean, I did do a you know one of those rebrick it challenges on um, with the uh, cyber drone three and one the little thingy on the Brickanista with her and Debo bricks. They all did a challenge, and so the new challenge is with the Captain America mech, which I happen to have too. So I'm gonna do that rebrick challenge. So I guess that's as close to mocking as I. I mean, I did do that campground the one time, and you know I do have my dresser top city, which I got to do an update on, but you know. I you know I, and I got I got all my I got all my I, I can't know if you can see them. You know what you that, need is you need to build a brick built dock. You know, like those those larger statue type guys. You need to build a brick built dock of that. That'd be cool. <laughs> that way, everybody can have their own dock if they wanted to. Yeah, yeah that'd be nice. If they give you a place to store stuff on the ship. Daily Bugle. Yeah. How big is the Daily Bugle? Is that supposed to be like a modular uh, type size or something, maybe? Uh, like, I don't know. I think it it's looks supposed like to be. The biggest Doctor Strange Spider Man house. Mm. Doesn't mm. it? Or a little bit bigger? Maybe it'll be bigger. I mean, it's the Daily Bugle. That... Yeah, I mean, I haven't really should hopefully been... be able to do that. I haven't really been thrilled about a lot of sets lately, so I, mean, but, I haven't always really been jumping up and down about anything. So, but remember, last year we got the rumor for the helicarrier set, and then look how that turned out. <laughs> oh, that look small like one that. that I still see in stores floating around. Yeah, you know the figs are great in that, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah that's 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 a unique helicarrier. So you know, oh, it's yeah. supposed to cost three hundred dollars. Good, then it'll probably be a quality set. Yeah, everybody's loving the figures for the Daily Bugle because, you know, there are people yeah. that we haven't had. So it's like, okay, cool. Now, aren't we supposed to get Black Cat? Oh, here you go. This is, this is, Black this is Cat the Black and Daredevil and uh, somebody else. That's that's why you can't do your, your thing, I guess, Doc, mm. because, mm. because Bricksmith has all the pink bricks. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> I think Punisher was another one who's supposed yeah. to be in there. Yeah, Punisher. Yeah. But either way, it's, it looks like it's going to be a comic version of the. Daily Bugle and not a movie version from one of the various Spider Man, which is fine. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah, they can have more characters than you know just the limited number that the MCU has used so far. Yeah, yeah, with comic book based sets, you can just throw in whoever you want because mm. you can say, Well, this location's appeared in this many comic books and it's had all these characters involved. That or so now can, was there was there anything underneath the Daily Bugle? Is there any characters that lived in the sewer or stuff? Where if, if they did, if it cost that much, they could have like a couple levels of uh, sewer hideouts of uh, of like of some of the enemies or anything, arch and arch enemies, because that would be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be a bit similar to the Bat Cave. The '60s back cave. Oh, that big that one. Sense. Yeah, that was kind yeah. Of set. That was something set. similar. I mean, it couldn't be quite the same because it's not quite the same layout. I'm sure, but <sighs> VIP points. What are those? Mm -hmm. Therefore, spending on promos that don't get released very well. Uh, <laughs> apparently, no, they're buying they're for buying those coins. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, they're for they're, they're for like buying gold. coloring books. 
Now, is there is there is there another coin that's still due out at some point too? Yeah, there's supposed to be a fifth coin. I think it's gold and it says Lego on it. Okay. I think that was the fifth one. Because they've had what pirates and space and castle and uh, what's the other one? I don't remember. They're, oh, Octon. Octon. Octon, yeah. yeah. City, city. So Yeah. Which I mean, I think they should do. I think they should use the Octon a lot more. We we joked. I've joked many times that they could do, you know, bring you know, do some more like uh, some of the old train type stuff, but do an Octon logo because the Octons are is their brand for fuel and everything else. It'd be kind of cool. You know, bring back a Santa Fe kind of style locomotive and do uh you know just use the octane i mean you don't even have to look for licensing for that if you use your own octane because the engine i'm you know you shouldn't have to the engine was used by probably so many different uh, train lines you probably don't need there's no licensing for that anymore chances are that company's defunct anyway so wouldn't matter that's what some of us would like to see I'm not, I'm not a big huge train guy but some of that stuff would maybe bring me back into trains if i saw some of that stuff Nothing, nothing in trains has made me jump and scream and want to buy. I mean, I think the last one I bought a, a bunch of the trains was the Maersk, and that's been that's been many years since that came out. So, bye, Blaze. Have a good night. Night, Blaze. Bye, Blaze. Keep walking, Blaze. Hmm. Keep walking. Yeah, he's yeah. doing the walking but, challenge every day. He's walking yeah. twenty six miles or some damn thing. Uh, he's yeah, there was a. They're trying Ninjago to keep up with, with Hinkle. Have you, have you seen Hinkle? Is yeah, I, I did that. I did that. I, I, I finished that one because basically uh, my work steps the first week pretty much was almost, 20, <laughs> almost 26 <laughs> miles. Hey, Lumberjack. Hey, Lumberjack. Hey, um, Lumberjack. Josh. Wind Tank Transport had the Octane. I mean, the Octane logo has been on a lot of stuff. It's been on all the yeah. tanker trucks. It's, I mean, it's, on, it's on a lot of stuff. I'm sure it's made an appearance in an Anjogo set, even. Probably somewhere, yeah, you know, somewhere fueling station or something. So, yeah. So as I was saying, there was an Anjogo coin that actually happened, but it's it's very rare, and I think it was only released in China. Mm. So, I I would have loved to try and get that, but so if it was in China, was it a real Ninjago Lego coin? I don't know. I think it was because mm. I saw a post from someone on Instagram who's mm. in with Ninjago said he got the super rare coin. I'm like, why didn't they release that as one of the coins? Then well, I think, all the, I think all the coins they went with were all classic type stuff, kind of in kind of the yeah. same as that. Uh, was it the 40th anniversary set where they had the monorail, the castle, the space, and then something else? I mean, eventually, when they do the coins again. Because they will eventually do the coins again, I'm sure. <laughs> that that Jago will probably be a classic theme by then, if it's not dead. So they can do a Ninjago coin then. Yeah, Ninjago will be around for a while, yeah. So, oh, Lumberjack says, I just know that because that was the first train car I had. Sweet, well, that's always good, yeah. Yeah, you know, I kind of wish I had been born earlier. That way I could have gotten all this amazing train stuff that came out i think the first the first train i got like actual train train because i had that weird black box thing back when i was a kid but train would have been i think the first train i got was the the old holiday train would have been the one i would have had so and i would have loved this nine volt stuff yeah i mean that's kind of i mean that's the thing is it's well i mean somebody's actually there's a company out there actually going to start making the nine bolt again so it's kind of it's been making the waves so um that'll be kind of interesting to see um i think they're going to make the motors too which would be really cool so if they do all that that's going to be because i mean some people i mean there's a few people i know of that have not they haven't switched off of the um off of the nine bolt they've had the nine bolt from the from the get-go and haven't moved any of the uh Oh, FX, I guess, is what Josh is saying. Um, you know, people haven't moved off the 9-volt at all because they it just works so well, and they have the motors and stuff, so they use it. I mean, I have 9-volt, and I have the power function. I'm not going to do the powered up. I'm going to avoid that. 
I'm gonna avoid that just like the plague, like the like the the yeah, like the COVID. I'm avoiding it too. Avoid it. I mean, it just to me, it just doesn't seem like uh, yeah. It, Lumberjack says they have the double straight tracks now working on curves and yeah, they're planning motors. So yeah, so I mean, now there's somebody else out there that has another uh, receiver brick, kind of like the uh, S brick that has a little bit more functionality to it too. I don't know if that's FX too, but uh, there's there's some good stuff out there in the aftermarket. Yeah. You just gotta hunt and look and see what's out there. So yeah, I mean, uh, when I eventually build my city in about ten years. I plan on having two trains, and I already have one of them. You have what? I plan on having two trains, and I already have one of them, the blue one. Oh, oh, I just have to build up? another. Yeah. No, the uh, the blue custom one that I have. Oh. Um, yeah. And then I want to build, like, a smaller one. So they're just going to be mock trains. Both be power functions. And I'm fine with that. Yeah, I have a train, but I don't even know what the hell it is. Hmm? I have a. I can't get my. The camera won't come back on now. <laughs> and then I. I also have the brown one. The crocodile. No, the, croc the, the crocodile. Yeah, but that's more for display. I like that as a display thing, and I don't think I'm ever gonna motorize it or run it. Yeah, I mean, I guess it just depends. I mean, I have like, I have like the old, like an old crocodile. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I, yeah, I got a train, but I don't know. <laughs> I have no, I, and I have pieces for it, and I have no idea what it is. Somebody gave it to me, and it's, mm -hmm. it's just been in this box. It says train stuff, <laughs> and I'm just like, mm -hmm. you know, that it's, was got, it's got power, so I know it. You know, it runs. It, it's electric somehow. Oh, wait, here's the book. Oh, wait, let me see that base. There's, there's a book. The it's this train. This is the train. Here it is. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. that's an old. That's, that's an old car number on that. It's a, It's. What's the four-digit number there? Uh, seven nine three nine. It's an older one. Yeah, that's the cargo train. Came out in twenty ten. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a nice one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like I've never put it together. I don't even. I don't even know where the part. I mean, the parts are from. <laughs> this is just a box of tracks. It's just a whole bunch of tracks. And the motor and the whatever. So I got the the train pieces, but every time I re remember in my mind the train pieces, that they're red. <laughs> it's like they're not mm -hmm. yellow. So I'm like, maybe I've got two. I don't know. Maybe there are two trains. I, I mean, know. there there have been. I have another box of train crap. <laughs> yeah, there was a red one too. I think. Yeah, there was a red one. I'm trying to a year and a half. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right back where I found it. Yeah, there was the heavy haul train. That was the red one. Those red pieces. That one was. I remember that one wasn't that well priced. What we got, but it was still, still cool. Still better than the powered up ones. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, what? Unless they're gonna do. Unless they're gonna try and do. Um, like some new smaller trains or something again, you know. Using using the creator expert the way it could be used to provide us with small type trains and stuff that'd be kind of cool, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Lumberjack says there's a red one that looks just like the yellow one. So yeah, that's the the heavy haul train, which is six zero zero nine eight. And it's pretty much the same. And I have the blue cargo with the engine type thing. I got that one. One of the other city trains I got. I mean, I don't have much. I think I have two Mariscopen, two Maris Sealed, the uh, blue cargo train, the green bullet train I got in a trade. And then uh, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much in the way of train train stuff. So. Well, no, I do actually take that back. I have the Harry Potter train, the last one they did, and that one's actually been altered to be um, eight wide. And then uh, what else? I do have the old? I have both. I guess I have both holiday trains. 
We do have that. I have the one from 2010 and the one that came out a couple years ago. So I got both of those. So, but um, in the end, I mean, so I have some trains. I have, I have I have some flat cars I picked up somewhere. Oh yeah, I guess trains. I keep forgetting. I have the I have the I have the Metro Liner too. I guess I, I guess I have more than I thought I had. I got a few, but I mean I don't really I don't have a city, so I don't really use them. So and the Ice Bears haven't used them since one of the train shows in Colorado. So. Oh, I hear a beep. Oh, look at that. It's it's someone from up in the Minneapolis area. Let's <laughs> see. How's life up in Minneapolis? I think it's beep. probably a little bit more normal these days, huh? Maybe. Hopefully. Um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the verdict is in and uh people are relaxing in the community, I guess. I think that's what everybody's hoping for. I mean, that's I mean, I was kind of hoping that too just for just for that standpoint of life, just knowing how. Course, <clears throat> we, got, we got another case, so yeah. it, it's never ending. It isn't. I mean, it's 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 kind of a, it's a crazy world we live in, and it's just man, it's just you know. Well, then of course, did you hear that, uh, like in Madison on the news tonight? They were talking about a they were talking about a lawsuit from a February case where a teacher decided to ask about slavery. Okay. How, 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 how do you, how would you, or how, how do you punish, how would, yeah, something about how, how would you punish a slave or something? You know, and I'm kind of like, you know, I mean, you know, by looking at it, I mean, you could probably have changed the context of the wording and said, how would you have, how would you have, you know, punished someone, you know, humanely back in the day that, you know, I mean, I mean, that's the thing is it's like, it's like, understand that and see, it might have been even just bad wording. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I, I saw that. Oh my gosh. It's the problem is, too, is now we live in a Sue happy world now, too. Ever since that lady spilled that cup of coffee in her lap because she put a super hot, spiking cup of coffee between her legs, this whole country has been Sue happy, which I think was a quite humorous thing, anyways. You know, who puts, who does something like that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Didn't they spoof that on Seinfeld? They might have. I don't know. I mean, all I know is I remember that was that's that's what started it all. If you want to track back, if you want to put the blame squarely somewhere, that's right. the person who started it all right there. They started this country down the line of, hey, let's just sue to sue. Just, you know, because just because I wasn't very intelligent, I'm going to sue anyway. You know? I think they've spoofed it in a lot of movies, too, where uh, where was it? Um there was a comedy or something where the guy had put, he'd actually sabotaged his own yogurt with some kind of crazy insect or something. I don't know. I can't remember what movie that was. Somebody else ended up eating it and stealing his, stealing his lawsuit or something. I don't remember what movie that was. God, I can't remember what movie was. That was a weird one too. What's up, Jesse? What you working on, buddy? Um, I'm uh, getting into mosaic mode. Mosaic mode. Ooh. So uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna make like uh, a blank slate for a new mosaic because I made one for Earth Day the other you, day. You gonna do a mosaic of yourself? Is that what you're thinking? Did maybe the Earth there for Earth Day. Thought maybe you'd make a mosaic of yourself. You know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I could do my uh, Jesse's Brick Galaxy logo. That'd be a good one. Because I have a, a wood cutout of it, but mm. it's not made of Lego. <laughs> well, I thought maybe you'd do, you'd do you. Maybe, you know, hey, make sure you get my best side, you know. <laughs> yeah, you could. But yeah, I don't know about, like, real people portraits don't, like, I mean, they translate if you have a really big piece. Mm, I, I need think. to make I need, I need to make one of my sister at some point, but that'll be a fun one to do. Stuff like logos and comic book characters and stuff translate better because they're just well, yeah. Better. Well, Mark Mark in Colorado did a huge of that the first Superman. And that one was enormous. Yeah. Cool. 
What's going on tonight with you? Hey, dude, Jude. Um, oh, dude, Jude. I'm fighting a weird headache all day. So I don't know. My head's been kind of has not been playing very well today. Yeah. And then I'm trying to. I need to resubmit a couple more pictures to that ideas contest, which I've been fighting with for the last week. There's only a few days left to submit, so I keep kicking back my submissions. Yeah. It's good to have a challenge like that, you know. So not really you just get to build stuff. Well, well no, that's not even that. I'm I'm just having problems getting my pictures to to go through. Like saying, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like they're saying something's wrong with the pictures. And I'm like, oh my God, really? I mean, well, they didn't like to keep the first, they didn't like to keep the first time because it was uh 10 years old, but I built a new one. It's a little dated. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the in the essence, I'm I've been going clear for almost 10 years. So it's like it's not so much dated, it's the fact that I mean that's kind of what I've been building it, and so that's kind of the coolest because it's got the most history to it. But you're right. I mean, right, right. I mean, I don't know. I was, I was thinking it. You know, the kind, the way they were wording the contest. It's like your mock in the idea house. It says that one's the, I guess, the plainest of the, all of them. It doesn't have. Any, <laughs> they doesn't weren't have, expecting a, a, a mock you've been working on for ten years. <laughs> but it, you know. Doesn't you know? I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. So, but you know, you're right. I think everything they want you to do is like they're expecting you just to create new. I'm like, do they understand? Most of these mocks I build take, you know, I can't build it in a month. I mean, I, I can, but I mean, it takes you know, can't do much of anything else. So. Well, yeah. Part of the challenge for you then. <laughs> but with especially with plates, I mean, I mean, you know, oh, oh, sometimes shoot. there's a size restriction too. Uh, did you say anything about no, that? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Trust me. size is <laughs> size is massive. Are you kidding me? The size can only be. Um, be. It can only be up to a certain. Can only be. Yeah, it can be. It's either one. What is it? One base plate by basically two base plates, no higher than sixty bricks. So sixty bricks is still pretty tall, considering my stuff. But cool. What's up, lumberjack? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he was referring to. It must have went, it must, it must have happened too long ago. Went over my head, I guess. I didn't, yeah. Well, size restrictions, but I, oh, I didn't know that no, was a. Uh, that's what she said. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess in lumberjack world it is. I guess, but you know. <laughs> How about you, TJ? What are you up to? Ah, uh, not much. Just hanging out. What happened to yeah, Doc? Yeah. We was, he was having camera problems. He got a new he got a new phone a new phone and he's having issues. Yeah, he's trying to stream from his phone. Apparently, it's not going the best. All right, I'll probably see him uh, Sunday. I got, anyway. I got two and a half weeks left before I go home. So that's good. Two and a half weeks before he gets to be back in his Lego room for a few yeah. months. Yeah, I miss my Ninjago Gardens. <laughs> yeah. So, in other words, when you get home, we expect you to be posting pictures of you hugging your Ninjago <laughs> Garden set. I'm home. <laughs> Jesse, is that, is that while? Jesse making a lot of noise? Yeah. <laughs> Got my parts out. What's that to your left, Jesse? I don't know what he's referring to. Maybe the houses, maybe? I don't know. Did you see Mortal Kombat? Yeah, I just watched it. Uh, Very cartoony. <laughs> yeah, it, it starts off so realistic, you know, with the, the pre, 
the scorpion and sub zero out, I was like, okay, this is this might work because they're 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 back lot, they're you know, they're like just getting like origin story instead of they got oh, their yeah. powers and it's just fight, 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 and then it turned into that. Yep. <laughs> and it went over the top. And it was just like, okay. <laughs> I uh, love yeah, the, the point where uh I the where the yeah the hat did the fatality. I was like, <laughs> and we're in video game mode. <laughs> yep. He was like, flawless victory. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. Kano was funny though. Yeah, well, it was just kind of like, because at first it was just like, how is he going to be bad guy? <laughs> you know, I was kind of like, what? Just like I kept waiting. I'm like, when are they going to rip that guy's arms off? <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I know, it's, it was it was different. Uh, it was different. I wish they had stayed more serious. <clears throat> but I think if they would have stuck with like the whole... If they would have followed, I think they should have followed Scorpion and Sub Zero more than the whole rest of the team. That should have just been something that was happening and kind of yeah. like in the background, you know, the humans come and all of yeah. that kind of a thing, you know. And then it, it could have been a more serious kind of a examination of the Mortal Kombat, but you're still having all aspects of Mortal Kombat, you know, in it without getting yeah. too, you know cartoony, <laughs> you know. Yeah, they flashed. <laughs> they. Fast forwarded to Sub Zero, like just full on. Ah, uh, yeah. I was hoping for something. I don't know. I mean, I want it. You want to see, like, I've played the game not recently, but in the past. Yeah. So you want to see those power moves and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you want to see Goro beat somebody down. You know. <laughs> I mean, it had its, the, you know, had its moment. Jack's but it was doing the like, head smash. <laughs> uh huh. But it's just like you guys, at, like at one moment you're taking it seriously, the next moment you're not. It's like decide, you know. Yeah. You, yeah. you can't do that to me. It's just like stop it. Have you seen that animated, The Scorpion, the DC Comics, the Mortal Kombat Rise of the Scorpion? Oh uh, no. Yeah, it's the whole. It's the whole origin story. That's why I was like, when that movie started out, I was just kind of like, I was instantly like, oh God, this is Scorpion. <laughs> you know, this is yeah. what, you know, this is, is going to lead okay. him to become, you know, a semi goodish guy. <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah. That was cool that the weapon came from the garden. And uh, I mean, oh, yeah. that fight sequence was awesome. And I was expecting more of that. Like, there's hints of the special moves, but. Oh yeah, it was it was a disappointment. <laughs> yeah, they just ah. Uh. Yeah, I mean it's like Godzilla versus Kong. You know, as much as that was, you know, they had the thinnest of plots of whatever. I that was still a more satisfying view <laughs> than this Mortal Kombat thing. You know, even though I wanted Mortal yeah. Kombat to be better, you know, because I already knew that Kong versus Godzilla just been like okay, whatever. This is going to be a Hollywood remake. It's you know, it's not going to be that great. You know, and it was a great popcorn movie. I loved it. You yeah. know, but this one I was just kind of like scratching my head too many times, going, "What? What? Huh? Yeah. Okay." <laughs> or just, or just shrugging and going, "Whatever." <laughs> you know, tear their heart out. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. A lot of divisive scenes. Like, okay, Sonia doesn't have the seal, but she's like with it. Like the whole. Like I thought for sure she was gonna kill Molina, and get the seal. Yeah. And I don't know. I was just hoping that she was just going to somehow survive it all without one and be all like, that's, you know, that wasn't required, you know, and they were going to be like, woman power, <laughs> you know. So there, she, did, so there was a, she was good, better than all the boys. She was able to survive <laughs> without, you know. I was waiting for that moment, but that didn't happen. I was like, yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so there was a movie, Godzilla versus Khan. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, Reed. <laughs> the theaters reopened just for that movie. <laughs> Godzilla versus Khan. That's good. I like that. That's yeah. <laughs> versus Khan. <laughs> let's, hope yeah, Doc, so. let's hope Doc gets a cameo. Then, if that's the case, you know. Yeah, if that's the case, yeah, he'd have to transform. Then they can be have a big giant con or a big giant Doc suit and somewhere a big giant Godzilla. <laughs> Battling it out, destroying a city. You need to make a, a mecha 
a Mecca Doc Samson and we'll put uh, a minifig of Khan inside. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like Ultraman. He just got big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ultraman. Ultra Doc. <laughs> Be like, here we go. It works for me. So, so, so uh, Lumberjack was asking, what's to your left, Jesse? I don't know. Is there like a, what's on your left? Is that like a box behind you there? A set? My left. This, yeah, your left. left. What's that? The set. Oh, that's probably what that he was looking at. Oh, that bat way. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of on hold. I have, I have the Batmobile and the Batwing sitting here. I, I'm thinking once uh, Pat Patterson's Batman movie comes out or something, maybe I'll, I'll pop this open and do a Batman build. <laughs> Patterson. Pattinson. Pattinson. There's no R. Maybe maybe when that Flash movie comes out and Michael Keaton's in it. So yeah, there's a Flash <laughs> teaser trailer now. I saw Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I can't I look them was... on my phone. It was did you link it in the Instagrams? No, not yet. It was really like just a logo. Was it just like Yeah, it was just a logo. I saw that. Oh, okay. Never but mind. they were like, uh, it looked like the CW, and I was like, Flash, but it was different. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, it was the movie. Oh, because the movie Flash did cross over into the TV show for a brief second. Yeah, did for Crisis. Yeah. They had a, a scene where the two Flashes touched each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which is like, really like weird. Are you real? Poke, 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 poke. Yeah. I'm just amazed that the uh, TV Flash didn't upgrade his costume after that. Was it like, yo? Well, I, I mean, he costume. He did upgrade his costume. Oh, armor on here. Armor. Yeah. He just made the he just made the mask nanotech, so now yeah. he doesn't have to like pull the mask over his head. It just I would just press a like, button. It's like how Supergirl's suit is nanotech now. Everything's you get. Everyone gets nanotech. No. Okay. If Arrow was still around, he'd probably get a nanotech suit. Right, and if I have a nanotech, just hold out his arm, and a nanotech bow would just form, and he could just like, Pow. yeah, exactly. I mean, I think his bow was fold out, but right, it popped out of his arm thing or whatever. Was like flip, flip. Yeah, I don't know. He well, he, he had so many different kinds too, because you know. Yeah, he had a couple different kinds. Mini bow, big bow. There we go. So I'm hoping that's what Lumberjack Jack was asking about then. What, asking about what? Yeah, I got bat bat wings sitting right here. If you're a Lego fan, that that's... are you gonna light it up? Is it light up light up a bowl? I uh, definitely want to mount it on the wall uh, uh, and maybe try to do like the yeah. like make a mosaic of the moon behind it or something. Oh, that could, that moon could light up. Yeah. They show they just the box art shows it with the uh, lighting. Um. There you just need to put you need to put it on a wall that's got a light behind it and it shines yeah. the, bat, the bat across the room and you're like, hey, is that a bat signal on your wall? Yeah, it's reflecting <laughs> it's reflecting from the other wall. But yeah, they are calling me because they know they need me. You know, I'm you know, <clears throat> I'm the savior of mankind. So yeah. all right. Jesse's the Batman. We just didn't. You just found out now. My sick fig is Batman, so. Ooh. Oh, I yeah. thought it was uh, Deadpool. Oh, that's Larry. <laughs> Larry. I'm like, somebody's always throwing Deadpool up in my face. <laughs> that's Larry. Larry is Sir Deadpool. I think mine's going to be one of those, uh, some kind of an ice bear, I guess, or badger or whatever, so. That's my guess. We'll see. We'll see. You guys were talking trains and the and uh Well we were. We were. Well, Con had, you know, Con had found some trains. We were talking train a little bit. Well, I think yeah. we let it got led in by it talking about the Octon coin, you know, how it would be nice to yeah. have them re-release some of the maybe the older trains like the Santa Fe or something like that using the Octon logo. That way you're not fighting with licensing or anything. You can do it without even blinking and batting an eye. That'd be kind of cool. There's a lot of people who missed a lot of that 9-volt stuff would love to see some of those 
<clears throat> some of those cool engines, you know, maybe. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, I mean, that's what, I mean, technically, if they're really catering to the, a lot of the adult fans anyways with the expert, I mean, that's the place to try some of those smaller sets, you know, but yeah. I've been saying that for a long time. They don't ever listen to me, so. Well, they did the crocodile. Yeah, but, you know, maybe something a little bit, you know. Well, I mean, oh, yeah, wow. I mean, the crocodile is more of a European engine. Now I guess they just got to do something for the Americans and it'll be fine. Yeah. yeah give us a, give us a. A Santa Fe A and D that's like that crocodile, and uh, yeah, you'll uh, you'll sell plenty of those. Yeah, those so because an A and B unit. I mean, people were making. The, I think even Hoosier made his own B unit. But I mean, you know, that's the thing is people would you know jump all over that because the Santa Fe was. I mean, the Santa Fe is huge now. I mean, it probably wasn't then because Lego was going bankrupt and Lego probably didn't wasn't spending much on marketing, so they weren't selling it. But those of us that came right after that point are going, oh, oh, I missed out on that. Oh, man. You know, I'd have bought a half a dozen, you know. And so, yeah, I mean, if that if they released something like that, that was like, you know, an A and a B for 100 bucks, I probably would buy probably half a dozen of them. So that'd be the one thing, you know, that would probably pull me back into trains. So. Two is plenty, and then uh, you gotta have cars after that. Huh? Two, an engine, like an A unit, a B unit, you double it up. Any, anything more than that's a little excessive for. Well, I mean, I guess unless, unless, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the B and for actual function and like. Well, yeah, the BNSF are the ones that have lots and lots of them. So, you know, so that would be the one that would probably get a lot more, but. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There's another another wall section done. That was quick. Well, how did the show go? Or maybe you already talked about it. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I mean, it was. Uh, I picked up chop on the way up, so we didn't we didn't hit quite set up it quite right away, which you know, eh, you know it's always nice to get there, you know, so I have a full amount of setup. But at ten o'clock when the mall opened, we were still setting up stuff. So how how long was the show? Uh, it went from ten to six. So, how many days? Just one day. Yeah, it was just sat. It was just Saturday. So, okay. so you figure an hour of uh, an hour of two hours of setup for any hour show, and then an hour to two hours of teardown. So it just depends on how fast you get teared down. I mean, I just threw my guys in a box. I'll have to go back and reorganize them. Do a Minecraft style train read. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that just a great cart? Yeah, and, I mean there is no. <laughs> my yeah, I mean. Basically, the ones I mean, the Minecraft people that design the bigger ones are, you know, going to be like the, you know, like the, the BNSF style or the, you know, the Santa Fe or whatever, you know. What I mean? So, you know, but to me, I mean, that would be kind of cool to go back. To do. I mean, if nothing else, too. It's, you know, I mean, it's, you know, trains have been. It's trains are always in the big sets, except for like the Croc and the Holiday Train and stuff like that. So it'd be just kind of, be kind of cool just to do something like that, but. I don't know. We'll see. You know, Lego's been around for what a long time. They'll be around for a long time more. So, it's not like we can twist their arm, you know. I mean, and obviously, you know, obviously, if trains were truly formidable, they'd put them in the ideas. But obviously, that's why nobody designs anything for ideas either, because chance of getting passes is you know whatever but luckily with brick model railroader and those guys out there you know you know in essence you can get all the trains you want and they'll probably a lot better than a lot better than anything lego would ever make anyways sorry lego no offense but you know those guys are experts and you guys are novices so you know that's kind of how it goes so when it comes to realistic looking locomotives and stuff, so. but you know my i myself almost have been tempted to buy that counterfeit uh or that clone uh, big boy that's out there floating around. I think Venato or whatever's got the the big boy they're selling, but hmm. I guess I can try to work on this tree again. Tree. <laughs> oh, my sister in the house. Oh, they went the camera. <laughs> took out took out a bunch of clear plates too when it did. I find a better way to do this. I'm going to make a mount or something. Sitting on the blue microphone. 
and it usually sits up there pretty good, but something something sent it into a hissy fit and it fell off the mic. So I'm just trying to design see if I can design a uh, kind of a tree tree like a uh, tree base like the Ewok type thing going vertical. So I'm gonna, all the studs on all sides using the the corner bricks that they release. Hmm. I could make it work. I'd order white ones. I mean, right now I've got gray ones, so. Yeah. Well, you have clear headlight bricks, but you'd have, have to come up with a new technique to get it to be a corner, a corner. Yeah, I don't know if I could really do that with that. I mean, I would use other colors in the inside. I mean, I've messed with the with the headlight bricks to do different uh, different directions and stuff, but to do kind of that would be tough. I don't think you can. I don't really think you can. Uh, I guess you could. I mean, it just it would be a lot bigger gaps than what there is now. Yeah, that's the ki that's the kicker. So in the end, it'd be tougher. But a corner brick would work good for. I, mean, I can throw some white in there and make it more of a snow slash ice tree type kind of thing. So. That's my kicker, though. Is the kicker is the kicker is because of the corner brick, you can't do um, stuff behind it is tough because it's a because it's a corner brick, and so you only go one direction or the other, so it won't go. Uh, you, know, you, have to, you have to alternate your cross beams to be cross beams to be above each other. So there's nothing really holding it together. So it's rather fragile right now. It's like a Fabergé egg, is what it kind of looks like right now. Ooh, actually. Yeah, I'm just, I've been contemplating the Flash movie. Hopefully it turns out good. Reboot the, the DC Cinematic Universe. So they're going to, what, do a Flashpoint? Is that what they're going to do? I think so. <laughs> I forget who's directing it, but they're trying not to call it Flashpoint. Yeah, but I think we Snyder know. Cut it happened. The, the flashpoint happened in the Snyder Cut. So. Right. Yeah, he kind of turned back time a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah, traveled traveled back in time slightly, but Flashpoint, you know, is so much bigger, so much of a bigger scale. I wonder what exactly did they do with that? Because obviously, the CW had their own interpretation, where it wasn't like world ending, but it basically just had different villains and. Then one of the heroes got really hurt, so Barry's like, oh, I'm going to change it back. And then he tried to change it back to Flashpoint. And, uh. It was wild as I watched. Uh, they had Ant-Man and the Wasp on, like, last Sunday. I watched a lot of TV. And, of course, at the end, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing him I'm hearing him uh, call for them as he's in the fan, as he's in the uh, wherever that where he was at, and they're not answering. And then I'm like, oh, he falls right into end game, end game or whatever, Infinity War, or whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, because they're all interconnected, and it's just like, oh, now yeah. it makes sense. Now hey, it makes sense. The issue I'm seeing with the DC Cinematic Universe is that apart from like. There's like a couple of exceptions, but they didn't really do any time travel until Endgame. And I don't think they're going to dabble in it again for a while. Whereas DC's got to use time travel in its early stages. Oh, uh, Marvel's going there. That's the next thing. Yeah. Loki. Oh, yeah, that's Loki's, true. Loki is going to be all that. over the time traveling. That's the next show. Well, that's because Loki's there's Loki. also branches of reality. Alternate futures, right? Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's multiverse. And 
time travel. That'll be interesting. And stopping it. It'll be like Bill and Ted. <laughs> Bill and Ted? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Yeah, no, but I'm excited. I want to see Reverse Flash in the DC Cinematic Universe. That's what I'm most excited about. Because hmm. Reverse Flash is just the best villain. And I don't yeah. think they could do... He can be if they use him right. Yeah. And I don't think they... For the Flash movie, because he's such a major villain, I don't think they could start out with anything less. Because he's just so important to all uh, flash well, yeah, this. the only thing i don't like about the flash is some of his you know like the rogues gallery is just like oh look this band of goofballs that somehow yeah you there's... know they can they can get you it's like you can move so fast that captain cold can't even pull the trigger of his gun before you have him locked in a jail cell <laughs> so i'm just well, like I've, they don't always are move that. able to beat you <laughs> you know they don't always move their top speed, and supposedly the cold's supposed to counteract the speed. Yeah, yeah. But still, it's I like see. It a speed, this is before it became a speed force. <laughs> you know, I was just kind of like, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm sure that originally. Faster, you know, as time has gone yeah. on. I'm sure that originally, when Captain Cold and all the other rogues were thought up of, Flash was not nearly as fast. Yep, he wasn't. He That's didn't start was... out immensely fast at least not as fast as it is now <laughs> but there was a speedster in mortal Kombat. but that's why he's got other speedsters <laughs> to fight now would you think uh cabal in mortal Kombat? yeah he looked all right yeah i mean because there's there's all kinds of speedsters. supposedly um bart allen is supposed to make an appearance in the 150th episode of the flash Oh, the TV show? Yeah. And, you know, he's, um, in the comics, he's Barry's grandson and has a weird aging thing. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, in the comic books, there's, like, so many speedsters from the future that come. Yeah, and there's, the, again, the amount of speedsters is ridiculous. <laughs> That's why they had to reset the, the timeline. Or reset the universe after Flashpoint. That, and they need to restart everything, I guess. I don't know. Well, there are too many of them, just like there are too many of What's that professor guy? Wells. Which There's professor? Just like, yeah. Wells. Well, that's in the TV show, yeah. Like that's because of the multiverse, but now they've they've gotten rid of all that. In crisis, so I don't they... Know, they they put they cry a pre or after the crisis, but I'm just kind of like, but you do know when you combine all the earths together or like that or whatever, they're waiting to explode again. <laughs> well, I mean, there there are new parallel earths, it's just they haven't discovered them yet. Oh, okay. Like be the star girl, star girl, it's earth two now, and then they they listed some of the others. I think Titans is still out there, earth nine, or whatever it is, and then. Cinematic universe is out there. Um, uh, the Superman is out there. Brandon Routh, Superman. Yeah, the new, the new Superman show. Yeah. No, that one's Earth One, but yeah. Because uh, the Supergirl, Superman, of course, Supergirl herself got brought to Earth One, which was mostly the point of this whole crossover because they could never work in Supergirl's Earth in any of the crossovers. Because it's just another Earth. It's always on Earth 1, so they just brought Supergirl to Earth 1. Oh, but right. now Supergirl's ending, so it doesn't matter. But yeah. now they've got Superman. They're going to go out with a bang? It, mm -hmm. I, I, I got don't her in the Shadow Realm. And... Yeah, the, the Phantom Zone. Yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat's crossing over with... <laughs> you know, it's, it's amusing. <laughs> it's amusing because at the um, the end of Crisis on Infinite Earths, they formed the Justice League. But now the show, with all of the things that have happened on the show, so the original Batwoman's gone. So yep. she's out of the league. Oh. Black Lightning show is ending, so he's out. And then Supergirl is ending, which takes out Supergirl for sure, and maybe Martian Manhunter. So that leaves what? 
Superman, Flash, and White Canary. If there were seven the members. Are, is the Legends over? The show over? No, no, well, Legends is still going. They haven't started up the new season yet, but yeah, they're still going. The ad, the ad is out for the new season to yeah. start. Um, I feel like they might put Martian Manhunter in another show. Or maybe he'll just show up every once in a while. I don't know. It's always so hard to end a show with all these superheroes. Especially well, one of nature's cool, marching. Not, nothing else. I have a cool kaleidoscope. I just have to figure out how to make it work, you know. <laughs> but... Yeah. You know, whatever Crisis did to the multiverse, it's not the same anymore. But I'm sure that eventually... At least the Flash will meet Star Girl in that universe. Oh yeah, that's so just started. Yeah, and then season two is supposed to happen at some point. I don't remember when. I thought that was pretty good, Star Girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jen's on. She's doing dishes while Choppy looks for parts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did Chop bring something to the show too? Oh yeah, he brought the uh, he br yeah he brought his village. Did you see the pictures earlier? I can pull them up again. Let's I see. just saw the picture of the cat, the ice your cat, ice castle, but but Chop was in the background. <laughs> uh, yeah, his stuff. Let's see here. His stuff was right. His stuff was right next to my stuff. Uh, let's see here. Uh, put in the wrong wrong screen. Let's see, open here. So he brought some buildings. So I mean, his castle is, is his castle is defunct right now. So uh, he's gonna build a new one. So um, let's see here. So basically, so his stuff is this stuff over here. So he had the uh, he had the buildings here. So these three buildings, and he had his streets. So he had his. Uh, He's using, I think he's using the new streets <laughs> and he had all the lava guys here. Yeah. So the rainbow portal is invading your ice world with the lava well, guys. Well, I mean, the guy, I mean, uh, that was a Whistler guy had that at Brick World Chicago, uh, 2019. And so I like the portal because, you know, everybody thinks there's a pot of gold at the end of the mm -hmm. rainbow, but you got to be careful. There's a portal under the rainbow that will open to Untone World. It just makes it easier. To transition, I, I just need to have like an ice wall or something so that, you know, you really, it's not, the house isn't right there, but yeah. So I, yeah. you know, so basically, but there's an Avon lady call was calling on the wrong house over here on the end. And so she's being chased out of the house by skeletons. She probably should do her research before walking up to a big spooky house. Uh, so, but yeah, so his stuff was right there. He had a small corner. He didn't have a lot of stuff. So, but he brought something. Okay. So. I mean, like, I mean, he had he had a castle, but the castle, he doesn't have the castle has been destroyed or something. I don't know. So he's gonna build a new one, but um, we just got. I mean, we're still working on that collab that we've been working on for two and a half years now. So um, I'm eventually collab. castle collab for uh, Brick World Chicago. But the guy Mike that had the black castle and Luke that had the the Viking setup. I'm hoping I'm recruiting them for it too. So, you know, I mean, that, it's all about kind of getting bigger. I think what, and actually Scott, uh, who had the Hoth thing behind us, made a suggestion instead of doing it like the big, if have you been, you've been to Chicago, right? Where like, remember the, uh, remember the Greece setup that Virtual Lug had the one year where it was like that massive tap table space and they had Mount Olympus and all that stuff in there. Um, but you, it's hard to see the stuff in the middle. So what, Scott said is instead of having like a giant square, have it more like a, a plus sign. And so you've got a couple castles here, you know, a couple castles on each end of the plus, And then you just have a couple small tables intersecting to the island, but have people be able to funnel, you know, yeah. all around so you can see the whole thing. That was uh, our schematic for the uh, Lego train club up here, uh, Greater Mid. Greater Midwest Lego Train Club. When we're still at Brick Mania, we we're going to have cross shape and uh, a mountain in the middle, 
but then have like four tables on on four legs so you could you could you so yeah. you could walk around like snake around the whole thing and get pretty you know pretty close yeah. plus we'll probably be if if everybody's okay we will be on the ground also at the next chicago so um, i mean i did that a couple years with the castle but so you can look I mean, down at it yeah, I remember yeah so the kids it. can see down on it you know it's the end of the castles and stuff i mean i think it's a lot cooler that way. Plus, Chop can get down on his hands and knees and play. And if we're out of the pandemic by then, you know, if kids, if parents will let kids actually play, I mean, we can, you know, have things that they can march around the, you know, a couple of battle scenes or something. You know, hey, you want to want to move these guys into position so they can, uh, you know, outflank the ice bears, you know, or try to outflank the ice bears. So nobody outflanks the ice bears. Let's be real. Well, they really can't. There's too many of them, but people can try. You can try and you can fail. New blank slate for a mosaic here. Oh, but we'll tell the kid. Oh, nice. We'll tell the kids that we're not going to tell ruin the kids' hope that you know they that they can't. We'll just let them know. Yeah, try it. It's possible they might succeed. It's unlikely, but they might. They might. Anything as possible. So is it? So is it all black then? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a gray base plate. And yeah. I have the forty eight by forty eight studs, and then uh, I made it one so it has a frame around it, just like the mosaic art pieces. Oh, okay. There's a little edge with a tile up here. Oh, okay. Framed in, and then so I have a forty eight by forty eight stud. Blank slate here. It's hard to for me to leave these alone. <laughs> that's good. That's good, Josh. And your armies. Make sure your armies are close to the ice bears, so we know that you know we've got an army that we can flank, because you won't be able to flank us. So that's good. That's good. Flank. <laughs> flank. <laughs> That's the double F. You don't. You never want a double F. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take an F, but not a double F. F minus minus. So I actually did put some cross memberships in the bottom. So I did actually. I cross membered it near the top here. So you know, I got a couple sections like here and there. So they're actually above, above and below each other. Holding all the all the walls together, so kind of. So I mean, this could get pretty tall. I know the I know the Ewok trees are pretty tall, so we'll see. We'll keep going up. I mean, these are. I I did have some corner bricks from Lug Bulk a few years back. I ordered two hundred of them. So I mean, they might. They I've only used eight or sixteen so far. So this castle can just keep going up and up and up. But yeah, you know this will be this will be the this is this is the this is the quote from the night right here. Sorry, sir, <laughs> I flunked flank. I might have to start that. I might have to start that. So for trivia contest, what was the quote of the night? <laughs> yeah, what are we going on? You're you're going on three years. Yeah, next next week, three years of Friday night bricks. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, but you know, hey. yeah, it's been one year for me of going hard on YouTube with uh, Iceberg and all those guys. Yeah. So, but you know, a lot of people are doing that during COVID. So now was I Iceberg was streaming before he went on masters, didn't he? Wasn't he? Yeah. I think he had two years already in, uh, okay. or working on two years and then, so he's probably working on his third year of uh, YouTubing too. Yeah, that's good. Well, I mean, obviously, like you said, you know, like even like Moto said, I mean, it's kind of those things where it's nice to be on these the weekly streams because that's kind of, you know, it gets you that it gets you in that bug that where you can start doing your own stuff. And now that he's on Lego Masters this season, he'll probably come out of it and probably almost need a show too. We're gonna 
when we flood in the airwaves, I think of uh, show. Moto, the motivation hour is going to be crazy. I'm sure. Yeah. He's yeah. a builder though. So, I mean, you know, you never know like, well, I mean, he could do it. He's just going to need, just like with me, when you're building, you almost need, you almost really, you're going to need like a dedicated co-host to work. Yeah. The so, that he, so that I'm you like, can yeah, have him like so, a, a so he person. can, so he can kind of be doing like over the co-host is going to be putting the comments up on the screen be asking him questions while he builds. I mean, because if I'm building Sirius 2, which I try not to do while I'm streaming, um, because I don't – I mean, when 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 Turner was here, I mean, you know, obviously I could do a lot more building. And so, I mean, I'll, I'll probably have to eventually get a new co-host. I haven't been looking to replace anybody yet. So – or, you know, or, or have someone take his spot yet. So eventually, eventually. So, you know, maybe we'll see what the next Brick World yields or whatnot. So – but, you know, my first step was kind of making those cards so that, I mean, I can, you know, get, I mean, I passed out cards last week at the show um, and people grabbed them. So we'll see if uh, people kind of watch because I mean, everybody, if it's good, we were looking at the Lego stuff and whatnot. What's funny is people grabbed the card, even though they could have probably grabbed their phone and hit the QR code that was laying on the ground. Cause I had my, my, uh, like the magnets, I created magnets for like the van that were like eight and a half by 11 and it had a big QR code on it. So they could have just done that, but they grabbed the, the cards, but you know. Yeah. yeah. So, but in the end, it's, you know, something where I've got, I drove home with them on my side. I'm just going to have to drive around a little bit more with the magnets on and, you know, make sure I stop at plenty of traffic lights. And I might redo it because the QR code could be a lot bigger too. You know, that way you can scan it from a little bit bigger of a distance, I guess. So. And a new card uh, for the Lego train club over here. Still got yeah. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could send some. Well, I do need to send you uh, I do need to send you uh, a poly bag here. I've been procrastinating pretty bad. So <laughs> I have two. Yeah. You owe me one thing. And uh, Brick Hunter still owes me a mosaic. Uh, yeah. So. It was uh, it was one of those things where when it's somebody you know, <laughs> kind of grew into something else. But anyway, yeah, I mean, to me, I mean, you know, I'm not uh, worried about a poly bag. But if you, you want to throw some flyers or uh, cards yeah. for Friday night bricks in there, I'll put them out at the museum. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's the thing is I think without the conventions where you can pass out stuff where you know there's people because it's a Lego show, you know, you know, people are looking and then they're like, Oh, you know, cause I might actually even eventually try to try to switch a little bit more to be more, like you say, I guess, kid friendly. Everybody watch your P's, watch your Q's. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of those four letter things. Oh you know? man. Yeah. The kids want because Mario. They want, I don't know. I watched one of my friend's nephews and he's like, I told him I was on YouTube and he's like, Oh, where are, Oh. And then he searched my name and then he searched for Mario within my name. Like, mm. it's like, like, well, or whatever, you know, like, so they're, well, I do craft. I mean, I can show off my treehouse and a few things. Well, the thing is though, if, if I go with kids anyways, I mean, I don't think we're that bad. I mean, we could probably do kids with our stuff anyways. I mean, except we are spoiling tv shows but you know other than that hey you know um but in the in the most part in the end uh all the comments i'm getting on my stuff anyways are all those spammer anyways like go to this website so I mean, oh man yeah i like, got a few of those got to delete I mean, i've gotten a couple i got yeah. a couple good ones legitimate ones from the show the little live stream i did with the show but i mean that one could be something where i actually you know center it for adults or something if people want to comment but i mean comments aren't life and death each video usually generally has information to where if you really wanted to you know email me and say hey that was cool you can so but, uh, this tree's a little fragile in this part so i probably should have thought of this when i did this i could have built the ladder and a ladder that i could probably have put in there Speaking of Minecraft, I got to part out some Minecraft. It's sitting on this box. Yeah. I did, I did that last night. That's what gave, they gave me crap. You're crafting, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Actually, I haven't played Minecraft in months. 
I hadn't played because I was prepping for the mall show, but then I got back from the mall show and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to craft. I don't really feel like doing much else. I'm going to craft. And so I've been working on a tree house about 25,000 clicks from uh, the castle. Um, Jesse uh, Radbrick, dad, the other Jesse, actually put a, he did the wall map of the area where we're kind of hanging out where the castle's at. And the, the whole castle looks pretty freaking sweet on that, on that wall map. I must. I must say it looks pretty pretty cool. So you know, it's like getting a top down of the of the castle. So so I mean, he did all that. That was pretty cool. Heard you guys talking about that Daily Bugle earlier. Was that when's that supposed to come out, TJ? I think I've heard June, but it's unconfirmed. I just know that it's supposed to come out eventually, sometime this year. <laughs> it might have been delayed due to something else. I forget what that something else was. Production. <laughs> yeah. Not having enough. Wanting us to spend VIP points to get it. Yeah. Well, the the wild thing is, is they're they're talking about. Uh, I was reading something briefly before I went live about the car production, where they're having problems getting a lot of the chips. For cars yeah. and stuff. So, I mean, you know, just think. I mean, luckily, uh, hopefully, Lego's got their supply chain for uh, ABS plastic. But just like anything else, a lot of the like bottles and. Uh, jars and everything that's needed for stuff. I mean, we've seen we've seen major delays on some of our stuff over the course of the pandemic in terms of trying to get stuff. It's it's actually pretty crazy on how long it takes to get some stuff. You know? Yeah. Uh oh. Now it's all, all I need is Ninjago stuff to be out on time, unlike last year, and I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. What's the problem about this thing being so tall? Ninjago sets are consistent and good, and Lego doesn't bother doing promo for them, which is also good because they'd be super hard to get. And they'd only make 900 of them or something like that. Tall bricks, they, my tree buckle, the tree gold. The yeah, the, uh, the best value. Yeah, Ninjago is the best value. It, it really started improving in value after the movie because those sets were such good value. And I guess Lego realized, like, oh, we can make sets like this and they'll still sell. So, let's switch to that. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's when the, the bigger style of mech got introduced with Kai's fire mech. That's when that scale. I think I have that one. And then they continued it. Well, they had Cole's Mac, but that was different with the wheel. But then they continued it with Lloyd's Mac in 2019. And have since continued a big Mac every year. Now I have the ice tank. I got to build that at some point. I don't think there will be a Mac in the summer. From what I. Oh, no, there's going to be a small mech in the summer. But they've already done the big mech for this year. Any good nin, any good Ninjago poly bags coming out? Not that I know of. Right now, the ones that are out for this year are that Lloyd's quad bike, which I think is pretty good, and then the, the little mini Zane's Titan mech, hmm. which is decent. But I don't know if there's any coming out in the summer. Hopefully. I'm mean, supposed to be two four plus sets this this summer which is interesting they seem to be doing more of those one's going to be um like a mini kai's blade cycle and then the others be a very four plus version of the second destiny's bounty from seasons four five six and seven 
I got my I got my I got my roller for making some uh, Lego cookies right here. You know, plenty of plenty of studs. <laughs> they will definitely not be studless cookies. That's for sure. Yeah, I remember I um I saw the image for that four plus bounty, and they use all the Legacy One suits, which makes no sense for the timeline. So it's just Lego being lazy, and they reused the ghost that I showed earlier. From the epic battle set, but the the sale looks cool in the set, but it's not going to be something that I buy. How big do you think it'll be at four plus? I think it's like a thirty or forty dollar set, so it won't be that big. It is. No, there's no way it was fifty. Four plus sets can't be that expensive. But it, you know, it just means it's one less thing for me to buy. I have no need for the four plus sets. But um, legacy wise, they're doing an ultrasonic radar and a uh, Kai's Fire Dragon this summer, which is interesting. The uh, preliminary image we got of the ultrasonic radar that got leaked a while back shows being a bit different from the original, which I think not everyone's happy about, but hmm. I'm still intrigued to see what it'll be like. And I'm going to get it because it's legacy. There you go. And then the fire dragon again should be interesting. They made a four plus fire dragon last year, but then this is just going to be a regular fire dragon, but it might use the same fire dragon head from the four plus one last year. I have to see. And then those two sets will probably include the last two golden figures, Golden Zane and Golden Neo. Hmm. And then <clears throat> as far as yeah. the regular season, there's going to be um the, the new episodes for season 15, for some reason, have already started airing in Canada, I think it is. I don't know. But, uh, it's giving us a good look at at least some of the sets, especially the Hydra Bounty, which is Basically a submarine. But that looks like a very interesting set. But Submarines are always cool. That'd be kind of cool to see what they'd be. Yeah. It looks very good, even from the preliminary image. And the model in the show looks very good. And the only other summer set that we've seen in the show so far is the uh, Hydro Mech. And, you know, it's, it's a basic mech that happens to go underwater <laughs> well, that's, well that's what's, really funny, did, what's funny too is now after they did the ninjago gold now you see they're doing it for harry potter now too yeah and they might do it for marvel now too but like, the ninjago ones are good i don't really like the harry potter ones as much because it just feels because it's just the same prints with a couple of like little stars to represent the shimmer of the gold <laughs> Whereas the Ninjago ones, apart from the face prints, it's all unique stuff. But yeah, the leg prints are all shared between the figures, but it's still a unique leg print to the golden figures, which is nice. And yeah, most of the heads are just reused. Uh, Wu's head is actually just the same printing, except on a gold head. But I still think it's fine. Because we get new torso prints. Some new, some pieces and new colors. Really nice. Yeah. Um, also in the summer wave, Jay's supposed to have some sort of car, which I'm really happy for because it's been a while since Jay got a new vehicle. In the Actually, it hasn't been that long, but I'm still excited for it. And then there's some sort of water dragon for Nia and a, a structure. A dragon? A dragon? Did you say dragon? Yeah, it's some, some sort of underwater water dragon for Nia. I'm not quite sure what it is. And it hasn't appeared in the show yet, so we'll have to see. And then there's a like a structure, which is, like, I guess, the temple for Wojira. There's the, the giant snake. I do have a I do have a boatload of the water dragons from elves, so I'll have to compare. Yeah. Wojira, the um, the build of the snake Wojira actually 
appears in the in this temple build, which is cool. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Interesting wave. Cool. I need a nice bear. You can see how tall this tree is so far. And I have a bad feeling that I'm probably going to end up buying them all. <laughs> yeah, I, I've really tried to commit the past couple of years of like not buying every single set of the wave. Mm -hmm. And I managed to do that with Prime Empire and Master of the Mountain. And with um, not counting the legacy stuff, though. But with uh, the latest wave, the, the island stuff, I don't think I'm going to buy the Jungle Dragon. It's a nice set, but out of the four, it's my least favorite. And I bought the other three. And I've got most of the figs. So maybe I'll get it if it's on sale or something. But I don't know. I'll have to see how the summer sets turn out. If um, if the water dragon doesn't have any exclusive figs, I might skip it for the time being. But then again, all I know is that I want that hydro bounty. <laughs> the submarine. Right. Yeah, the submarine. <laughs> Hmm? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh, damn, Jesse. Is it completely enclosed? <laughs> yeah, it should be completely enclosed. Yeah, looks good. And the ninja are getting diving suits. Although, if Kai and Cole appear in diving suits in the sets, it may end up being non-canon because... They didn't end up going down with the other uh, ninja members. Oh, you saw season 15 already? Yeah, the first six episodes have shown up, and I think they're supposed to be 18 episodes. Roughly somewhere around there, 16 or 18, something like that. But, um, yeah, uh, the, the main members going down to the underwater area are Jay, Zane, Nia, Lloyd, Pixel, and Nia's mother, Maya. It's nice to see Pixel actually involved in a main mission. She's been sidelined too often. Pixel's a robot girl, I would assume. Yeah, she's uh, Zane's girlfriend. She's uh, And the current Samurai X. Oh. Yeah. And I mean, it makes sense because she's a robot and she doesn't need to breathe underwater. <laughs> Bless her. And of course, Zane makes sense. Nia makes sense. Lloyd, because he's the leader of the team and he's the green ninja and everyone's favorite. And then <laughs> Jay, probably because, you know, she and or he and Nia are together, and then Maya kind of snuck on board. But she, um, you know, she was the previous master of water, makes sense for her to tag along because this is supposed to be a Nia season one, <sighs> Nia development. Oh, okay, that's good. But, um, I read the descriptions for the, the last few episodes because they came out. I will not spoil anything. But it has me worried. Ooh, our ninja, our Ninjago expert is worried. Uh oh. I'm I'm worried for certain characters, and that's all I'm gonna say. Because if I talk any more about it, I'm gonna reveal everything. Wow. <laughs> are they just? Are they? I mean, they, they. You mean they figured out a way to like kill off the whole line of Ninjago? They're just gonna start killing characters. Sweet. No, they do that in J seasons, not Nia seasons. <laughs> It's it's funny because whenever a Jay has a main season, he loses all the other members of the team. Like in the first in season six, they all got trapped in a magical sword. And then season twelve, they were cubed. They died in the video game, cubed. But then they got in both instances. In the first one, they got brought out of the blade, and then time got reversed, so it didn't matter. 
And then the second instance, it was undone. Hmm. Magic of video games. Yeah. No, but this season's certainly shaping up to be interesting, though. Uh, next two episodes should be out this weekend, I think on Sunday sometime. So, yeah. I wonder if I wonder how much I wonder if this would be good for containing water when you drink mug. No, I don't think it'll work. And I'm guessing that no one in the chat has responded to the chat check because I put them all to sleep with the Ninjago talk. <laughs> <laughs> the extensive Ninjago lore elaborations. Yeah, it's okay. I don't think we 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 haven't we don't have a lot right now. We don't we haven't had a lot listening. Some nights there's more than others. Yeah. Uh, and we asked you, Jay. So you know. <laughs> okay. It's not like it's not like we're gonna penalize you or anything. So it's hey, you know. <laughs> Some nights there's more exciting things going on than others. It's just the way it is. You know. I'm just excited for Ninjago. There's a lot of people playing hooky tonight too. You know. It's, you know. So what's the underwater? Is there gonna be an underwater mech? With, does it have like coral pieces or you know? No, it's it's like a. Is it gonna match the show? Or is it gonna be like the coal mech from the? underground one where it didn't even this look like one it. this one should match the show a bit more i've seen it in the show it appears in a couple of the episodes there's there's actually two of them and lloyd has not used either one and they're designed for lloyd <laughs> which is amusing they kind of did that last season too but that's well, besides the go, point. Now, if they're going underwater, do they have? Is there an underwater base or anything that they're they're gonna go to that you know they'll use? Well, these? there's like an underwater civilization. You know, the Merlopians and the underwater serpentine. Because oh, okay. there's more serpentine. There's always more serpentine. Well. Jesse's making a mess again. And a lot yeah, of they've actually they visited the underwater kingdom. I don't remember what the underwater kingdom is called, but like Merlopia or something like that. No, nothing's happened, dude. Jude. We're just you know we're talking Ninjago. So yeah, if you're not a ninja guy, you know you know if you if you're not a ninja guy, he put you, uh, he would have put you to sleep anyway. So you're good. <laughs> But the, the ninja have no established underwater base. They have that's why they brought the hydro bounty down there. In other words, that's our next project. We have to design a underwater base for the ninja for the ninjas. Yeah, that'd be fun. Maybe that's maybe that's maybe the idea is needs to have a contest like that. Yeah, underwater vehicles and stuff. I don't know. They've been they've been doing a bunch of stuff lately, but I haven't really been paying attention because I've just been concentrating on the one that I'm trying to trying to do, and that's it. So I haven't really been paying attention. They always have stuff going on, though. I think they did the big Ninjago anniversary contest a while back. It was a few months. Yeah. Ago, but I saw that, and I was like, I already have all these sets, so I don't need to enter. <sighs> but you you could you could have you know. I think it was also like a week before I went back to school. Yeah, well, I, but you can always you can always trade them to you know to uh, yeah. uh, you know get funds for the next wave of Lego sets. Yeah, so. or sit on sit on the Ninjago Gardens for a few years and then sell it when they do this again and make another Ninjago modular. There you go. You'll remember that next time for the next Ninjago contest. We'll we'll trust me. We'll remind you. Mm -hmm. We'll be like, TJ, they're doing a contest. Yeah. You know, I, re I really need the summer sets to release in June. Because when they release in August, I go back to school in the middle of August. And and you, don't late August. To, you don't get to enjoy them. I know. Yeah, I get to enjoy them for like two weeks and then they sit and collect dust. 
<laughs> which is what Ninjago Gardens is doing right now. I got it two weeks before I went back, and now it's sitting collecting dust. And I'm going to come back and be like, oh, the, you poor thing, you're so dusty. Well, you know, that, that way you get a use for, you can practice your dust mopping, you know. Yeah. The dusting techniques. Yeah, the paintbrush. Yeah. That or there's that stuff that uh, Chop uses that I think uh, uh, Moto suggests. Yeah, the, the slime. The slime. Yeah, I watched I watched uh, Chop was using it on stuff this weekend. So it was, it was fun to watch. So. Oh, my kaleidoscope's even bigger. Oh, gosh. Every mm -hmm. time I do that, I cave in a wall a little bit. That's, I need to build the lower sections as strong as these upper sections. I remember last year when the sets were delayed for the U.S. I just ordered them from the U.K., from Zavi. It cost me about like $20 more in total. It was worth it, though. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, starting to hit the rails, boys. Starting to hit the rails. Mm -hmm. We'll see how long we can make. We'll go at least two and a half, but we'll see if we can make three. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Doesn't look too promising, though. You know, I'm building something where I can actually pay attention to the chat, and there's nothing going on in the chat. It's terrible. I wonder what you know how Ninjago always has like that little set that's some sort of gimmick. I wonder what the gimmick's going to be for the summer. What do you mean? You know how they've had like the epic battle sets were the latest one before that was the Spinjitsu first oh, before yeah, that was the, the arcade pod. The impulse, the little impulse buy set. <laughs> yeah, the little action toy that kids can get that are cheap and easy and I wonder what it's going to be this summer. Probably some sort of alternate Spinjitsu. Maybe it's just Spinjitsu Burst, but with the three characters they didn't do. Because they did Cole, Wood, and Kai. But now they need to do Nia, Jay, and Zane. Or maybe they'll just have an exclusive Nia somewhere. Because there's that leaked Nia in some sort of water form with the big. Like that big attachment piece that was used with the, the guy from Hidden Side and also okay. that Mysterio. Leg. Yeah, that big leg attachment thing. And that they use another one with Nia, which works because of her powers. But I don't know where that's going to appear in the sets. Or if that'll be part of like a, a little thing. Or I don't know what. Have to see. And then Kai and Nia's parents appeared in this new season. And they have new torso and leg designs. But I have this feeling that Lego's not going to actually put them in a set. <laughs> because that's what they did. They're just, you know, they're side That's characters. what they did with the Upley. Even though the Upley, like, played a major role, or enough of a major role in season 13. And, you know, you know maybe Ray isn't, you know, he doesn't have as major of a role, but Maya certainly does. She's on the main team. <laughs> Well, and I just have this bad, 
I have this bad feeling that she's just not going to get a suit. We're not going to get a new fig. Which is unfortunate. Well, they could just remake the previous one and go, here she is, there she is, same one. Nothing new, here she is. Well, I have the previous one, so it's not an issue for me. Because uh, in the show, she doesn't even get like a diving suit either. Oh, so she just hangs out on the so, island. So yeah, I mean, eh, no. no, she. I mean, she gets like um, she gets like a mask and an air tank, but she doesn't uh, get like the full new suit that the ninja get. Well, well so, I'm sure they transform into that. They're like, oh, we're going underwater. Spin, ta-da! New underwater suits. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, well, they just showed up with those underwater suits in the third episode. Oh yeah, see, so yeah, no big thing. Which. And that made sense because they haven't done an underwater, a long-term underwater adventure before. They went underwater like once. So it made sense to him because although Pixel doesn't get a diving suit either, which makes no sense. Why does Zane get a new suit and Pixel doesn't? Well, because Zane is one of the ninjas, isn't he? Well, Pixel may not be a ninja, but she's the seventh member of the team. I know. Who, do, who doesn't count? He's the mentor. Get, are getting new costumes, so all of the main ninjas got to get new costumes. You know. Well, Pixels had the same costume since season eight. I know, but you know they they don't care about her. They're just like, yeah, yeah, she's not one of the main dudes, you know, and Nia, so we don't care. Mm. <laughs> you know, but they all get new suits every single season. Yeah. I mean, doesn't uh, Master Wu pretty much wear the same thing every season after every season? Just like, yeah. I mean, yeah, they've kind of established that fig that came in the land bounty as his definitive suit, although he briefly got the armored suit in season 13, although they had an explanation for that, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it just annoys me that Pixel hasn't gotten any sort of upgrade at all when she really should and it's like if you didn't get the fig back in 2018 when it came out you know then now she's i don't know how much money pixel is actually which fig is this the the samurai x pixel this is the latest version i'll uh, find out the original version is pretty expensive Oh, actually, she's very cheap. Huh, I wasn't expecting that. That's because she's never been changed. If they like made you know, other versions of Pixel. I mean, she was, she was in a $50 set that has that exclusive Kilo Big Fig, which is now expensive, but she was also in the $20 set with a bunch of figs. Yeah, so she's, like, she's around for like three bucks. It's actually pretty cheap. The, uh, the first Samurai X Pixel, a bit more expensive, and then the original Pixel is the most expensive. She's cheaper than an ice bear. That's terrible. That's probably because you can't army build her. And I was I was looking at I think I was looking at the ice bears again on Bricklink a while back. There's only a few people that actually have some. Big quantities left. Oh, my isn't even that expensive either. Oh, in the US she is. It's like nineteen dollars. Twenty dollars. If you want her new, she's twenty three thirty five. I guess I'm just severely overestimating the value of Ninjago figs. I guess. Well, most Ninjago sets aren't really all that expensive. I mean, you can get yeah, that's true. More figs for you know any twenty nine ninety nine set, you know. Whereas Star Wars, you get one figure for twenty nine ninety nine, <laughs> you know, and be yeah. lucky you got a figure. 
which is why I'm getting rid of Star Wars. Because it's just, it's too much. Star Wars just hasn't been worth the value for me, to be honest. Which is why I'm done buying it. I always like to, I always like watch looking at the posts on uh, Instagram or tweet Twitter or something where somebody's like, you know, hey, you know, check out all these battle packs. And you look and you're like, you know, I saw a yeah. comment from somebody going, oh, I've been trying to get that since day one. No wonder I can't find them. You got them all. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because there's a couple, I think there's at least two people out there that are sitting on, you know, Hundreds of them, you know. Yeah. Bruce Smith, got, who's got like hundreds. Yeah, I mean, I got, huh? What'd you say? Bruce, Bruce Swift mm -hmm. on Instagram. He's got a few hundred. Yeah, MNR's probably got a, MNR's, MNR's probably. got a hundred, a hundred and something. I thought he was going to get 501. Yeah. He probably will eventually. Certainly gonna try, but uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what the I don't know what the production limit was. I don't know what the production was on those. I'm sure thousands, but yeah. I mean, this was basically just like a fan set. Just like the fans want it, so I guess they're gonna make it. It's funny is they had a five oh first character in an older an older set too, which is weird. Yeah, too. the issue was that guy had gotten so expensive, and people wanted them to appear again. Uh, yeah. Picky, picky, picky. Yeah, the demanding Star Wars fans. Uh huh. That's why I think yeah. a lot of times Lego's like, no, you guys are too demanding. If you were more nice about your asking, we might do these things, but you guys demand it and you act like we owe it to you. And so, you know, every May the 4th, we're like, look, here's another diorama. Ha ha. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. Like, if you were nicer to us, we'd give you the, the cool minifigures that you're asking for, but you guys are, you know, screwing with us so we'll screw back but uh, isn't there going to be a cmf line coming anyway supposedly yeah see so you know they're I... like there. there you go cmf line of what star uh, wars Star Wars. really the rumor at least yeah it's not it's confirmed like the, yet the disney cmf line that marvel's disney cmf character yeah it's like those. i mean you look at how the marvel stuff the rumor at least is turning out and it sounds like there's like five captain americas Albeit all different versions, but it's still a bunch of Captain Americas, and they aren't producing the <laughs> characters we want. But that's just what's going to happen with the Star Wars stuff too. We're not going to get everyone we want. No, we're going to we get like never will, never will. It's just there are too many characters. We're going to get character. You know, we're going to get like a few characters that we want, but most of them are going to be new versions of characters that we already have. Oh, you think so? Or just like a slightly exclusive version, or maybe like a version of a character that we've gotten a lot, like um, a Padme. Oh, but with exclusive look, she's wearing the clothes she wore on the landing platform. <laughs> yeah, yeah, disguised that Padme or something like in that. In episode okay. two, yeah, <laughs> Naboo pilot Padme, <laughs> or like um, battle damaged <laughs> Anakin or something. This like is the that. Darth Vader with the red lenses in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Obi Wan who's slightly different. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be. No matter how good it is, Star Wars fans will will get disappointed. Right, they're going to be mad. They're like, there wasn't leg printing on the Luke, and the Obi Wan there, didn't have. There's only one head print. Uh -huh. Back print. Just like they got all mad at the weapon. Cantina figures because they all didn't have arm and leg printing. It's just like yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm getting out of the Lego Star Wars. It's it's too expensive and frankly too much drama for me to want to continue collecting it. Which you know it's unfortunate, but it's just how I feel. Yeah, and, you know, it's, it's overpriced. A lot of times I'll look at it and just be like, no. Yeah, I I kind of decided in my mind that I can like Star Wars. I can observe all this stuff from a distance. I just can't physically collect the stuff. Yep, I'm gonna it's watch just the video too expensive. And be happy. <laughs> Come on, TJ, tell us how you really feel. Come on. Whereas 
with Ninjago, I always see Ninjago has, for the most part, good value and stuff, which is why I want to keep collecting it. Also, it's a Lego show, so. Whereas Star Wars is not. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, when I do get home, I will be selling off my Star Wars stuff. Anybody who's interested. Star Wars. Star Wars. Well, what Star Wars stuff do you have? I have a lot of Clone Wars stuff for the most part. I've got some Imperial. I've got a collection of sequel trilogy stuff that I'd already planned on selling off before I decided I was going to sell off the whole thing. Okay. And but what do you, what do you sell got, it on? Hmm? What app do you use to sell? I don't use an app to sell. What do you sell it on? The, what, eBay? I might as like a, a last resort. I'm probably like contact anything, people. Anything sealed? No, unfortunately not. You have any boxes for any of it or no boxes? No boxes. You have instructions though, right? I do have instructions, yeah. Okay. I should have instructions for pretty much everything. There are some... There is some stuff that I got from a friend. Yeah, he just gave me well a couple from a couple of friends. They just gave me all their Lego Star Wars, Lego in general. So I may not have the instructions for some of those. Oh, okay. But like, uh, that's like uh the Tie Defender. I have that, and um, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, the green one. I don't know if I have the instructions for those. I have Previsla's Mandalorian fighter. I don't know if I have the instructions for those either, but I can look. Um, the Bark Speeder, which that'll sell regardless of the instructions, to be honest. Yeah. The the Bark Speeder with sidecar, the one with the Rex. Well, just like I think that Previsla, because everybody's all crazy about yeah, the Mandalorian. Yeah, that, that one will sell too, with or without instructions. Crazy about Mandalorian, so. But I have the instructions from pretty much all my Star Wars sets. No, the the only things that I know are already committed to one person as the the Jabba's palace and desert skiff. Brick has interested in those. Hey, Brettsville, how's it going, buddy? Yeah. Hey, Brett. Yeah. I kick myself now because Kevin Hinkle offered me Jabba's palace and the Rancor pit <laughs> at a steal, <laughs> and I was like, yeah. and they were sealed in box, <laughs> and I was like. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I want to rebuild Emperor Palpatine's shuttle. I probably will and sell that too. Because I have that as well. I have this Rebel Trooper and Imperial Trooper battle pack. Just like a 2012 Endor set. I have the speeder bike still assembled, but not the tree but i can probably just get away with sticking that somewhere like some of these things like i don't feel like it's going to be worth it to rebuild but but others probably are but most of my stuff is still complete and put together i've got the republic gunship i've got the attte Ooh. The one with Jedi Bob? No, not that one. I have the uh, 2013 one, the one with with uh, Padme. I'm a clone captain and a clone pilot. Came with Padme. Okay. Yeah the the one who's got the the scratches on the back. Got a, the 2014 Star Destroyer and 2014 AT-AT. Which, you know, probably won't be able to sell those for retail. Just because there's, at least for the AT-AT, there's the newer version. Looks like the Star Destroyer, that one goes for a decent amount of money. The, uh, the advantage with the Star Wars things for me is that I've gotten most of these as gifts or on sale. So I can so I don't feel as bad selling them like a bit under the going price. Because, <laughs> oh, okay. you know, I didn't really pay for them. But yeah. 
Yeah, I've got. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff. I got the the 2016 clone turbo tank, which Ooh. that one's got the Luminara and Quinlan Voss. That's what makes it worth it. Right, that, wasn't that the only way to get those two? It's the the latest way to get those two. I think you know Luminara was in Clone Wars set, and she was in a 2005 set. And then Quinlan Voss was also in a Clone Wars set. But uh, it, it's the only way to get non-animated or non-old versions of the figures. Only way to get present days. So, you know, some of these things I'm going to have to wait on selling, like the 501st ones, because I have four of those. And Grievous is Starfighter. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure someone would buy them, but... Yeah. yeah. And that overpriced Grievous Starfighter, the new one? Yeah, I've got I've got that, I've got the wheel bike, and I've got the, the speeder. So I have, like, this whole Grievous collection. <laughs> I'll probably sell that eventually. It's just, like, the Grievous collection. The Grievous collection. I have two Grievouses. Yeah, I I have three, but one. I don't of them have broken. anything that it came with. I, I just have the figures. Mm -hmm. I want the Grievous. I don't care about the rest of it. Yeah, and then I've got Darth Revan as well. He's, Wasn't there a Darth know. Malgus? Did they make a Darth Malgus? Yeah, he was Old yeah. Republic. I don't have him, unfortunately. I had that's I can't. I picked that set up. I don't know how many times up off the shelf and stared at it and looked at the front and the, and the back and then I remember every single time just put it back and ended up getting something else. <laughs> I remember seeing it back in the day and thinking it was cool, but for some reason I decided no, I'm going to do Java's Palace instead. Uh -huh, I was just like something else would catch my eye instead. I'd be like, nope, nope, I'll get you eventually I said, mm -hmm. and then it was gone. <laughs> so I remember I wanted, um, I wanted to get Java's Palace Desert Skiff, Rancor Pit, and the Sail Barge and build a giant Tatooine mock. That didn't pan out. But oh well. Yeah, big giant Tatooine mock. No. You need to build some sort of big gigantic Ninjago village, especially with all those temples that yeah. you have and whatnot, and you know, have mountains yeah, probably good. and valleys, and look, this one's hidden in this forest, and you know. You could just Are walk we trying around. to lose viewership? You could just walk around your little, you know, little thingy and just go from season to season. Be like, here's season one, here's season yeah. two, season three, you know. Or do we need to show more Lego? Look more, show more Lego. Or do I have Larry much do? Lego to show. Okay, there, look, more Lego. That's what, I, that's what I've been, I've been messing with my minifigure. That are on Ooh. display here. These are all my. Just, these are the speed champions, people. Yeah, I was just about to ask. Yeah. Yeah, Reed's not asleep, is he? <laughs> I'm going to end the live portion because I am falling asleep. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see everybody next week. Hopefully, we'll get a longer episode. I went to sleep too late last night watching the Thursday night stream and just didn't get enough sleep. So, here's my here's my tree so far. So at least the step the the. Full screen. Full screen. Full screen. The uh, so it's about it's about probably five five ice bears tall so far. The the trunk, I guess, per se. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. See if I can do something like that. So do you always is it I mean, you know, not to be like, you know, negative or anything, but do you like ever build anything with anything other than clear? Mm, not lately. I mean, have you ever like built instead of like all the? I guess that's white clear. Like some, built something that's all red trans or all blue trans or uh, not all other trans color. I mean, I, 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 you know, I mean, I've done other stuff, but just not a lot lately because the whole complex is clear. So I don't know. Kind of more or less been built. I mean, I really haven't built building much other than revamping the castle just because we we had the pandemic so it was a good time to revamp but i mean i got lots of pieces i mean i need to get my rest of my pieces organized the clear has been somewhat organized because i 
building it, the rest of it doesn't get used as much. But I have tons of pieces. I'm probably sitting at a million plus pieces at least. I just gotta gotta get them organized because they don't. I mean, I don't use a lot of them, but I have a ton of pieces. I got a ton of plates and stuff. You know, I'll build some other stuff. I mean, I just need the 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 motivation to do so, I guess, or the reasoning to do so. So. But we'll end the live portion for this week, guys. I know it's just kind of a shorter one, about a half half the usual. But you know, I look forward to being a longer episode next week. Might even start a little late. I might be. I might have been recruited to bowl next week, so we'll see. But uh -oh. so. excuse me. Okay, well, we'll end the live portion. Thanks everybody for uh, another week, and we'll uh, see everybody at the three year mark next Friday. Bring cake, everybody. Yeah, bring your own cake because I won't be providing it. Or if I provide cake, you won't be able to get it.